Okay. So, I have uploaded to the Dental Springs Theater YouTube channel the full Saturday night performance of High School Another Day Another Test, a play we wrote. Right. It's a play that, that well, the whole theater department wrote. Uh, but we wrote it. Come on we now. Wrote it. <laughs> we it's wrote our it name on the paper. <laughs> that is correct. We did the work. Yeah, and the, I think the Saturday night performance of this was, was the best one. You think? I think so. I think it had the best audience re- audience reaction. Yeah. Because, like, Sunday had a really good audience reaction, but that was just my whole family yeah, laughing. Right. I, I always knew when they were too, especially because it was, like, it was, like it was Sunday. It was a Sunday matinee, so it was still daylight outside. So I could see people. I could see them because right. there was light coming in because mm-hmm. they didn't put up the trash bags on the window. So I could see the entire front row where you reserved the first three rows for my family. And it was just them. And it was just the them. So I knew exactly when. I, I, I knew that when I was getting laughs, it was just them. So it made me feel good, though. That, that was, was fun. Good. Well, this this scene right here, completely un. Prepared. I just love oh, yeah. this. Oh, You're yeah, this so is, this funny. Is great. I mean, I, I got to introduce it with Dre too, and Dre was very serious. And I, I don't know what I expected from you standing next to me. <laughs> then I realized you weren't being serious. I'm no. like, oh well, let's do something. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm having you caught on pretty quickly. And remember, they can see this. Like, we're, they they can see what we're talking about. That's great. So crack think, me up. So I think let's just get started. <laughs> okay. And let's just go. Let's miss I, I do love this. No, really loud. Oh yeah, because okay. the audio is so messed up. So can we turn it down? Yeah. How's that? David it's better. Alright. <laughs> there, that's where it starts. <laughs> Listen to the laughs. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm getting all of the static. In oh. my in my I, in my headphone, I think I'm getting all of the static. Well, that's not, I can hear it fine. In fact, okay. I can hear it really loud. That's fine. You hold it like that, we can both hear it like this. No, it's okay. okay. I can hear myself talking. Okay. I can't hear the audience. Oh, it was a, a nice laugh. Good. I'm happy. I was a little sick here. Like I was very, I was very um throughout this whole process. I was very like emotional. Really? Because yeah, because like in this part right here where I'm like, there was giving ideas. Like everybody came together to make this happen. Like I was very emotional. I didn't get that at all. Oh no! Through this whole process of okay. this play, I was like, and and, and I posted um on social media about us getting this published like through the process mm-hmm. I've been like posting updates and it's all like super it's all super deep stuff like, like what? okay one of the one of my lines I'll pull it up but okay. one of my lines is um and y'all can follow me on Instagram at dake.david uh, <laughs> one of the things I said like right here is um thank you to everyone who brought my words to life on the denim stage but i'm hoping this play will see more than just the jacket gym absolutely yeah I don't, that was pretty deep i'm proud of that well i have to tell you so yesterday was <laughs> there i am again yeah. <laughs> taking your joke <laughs> anyway yesterday was no day before yesterday was five weeks i'm like i felt it i'm like i'm yeah. gonna go in the mailbox it's gonna be there and it wasn't so then yesterday i'm like okay i was a day off and it wasn't there so before I came today, <laughs> be- before I came today, I'm like, okay, it definitely because we're going to be here talking about the play, and the mail hasn't run yet. Oh, oh, it's so the I will text my husband and say, when the mail comes, let us know. You know, we'll get Black the envelope. Screen. Oh, here we go. Started. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait. I know. I've, I've I've made myself forget about it though. I, I tried to, but I'm I'm just too excited. I know, me too. But okay, so basically, we sent in the play about five weeks ago, and it's five to eight weeks. I think You're you said five to four to six. That's four what I four to six so weeks. I think it should be, and so we're gonna be on vacation. Oh. So <laughs> when when do you leave? Monday, and we don't okay. come back till Thursday. So okay. I have to get my friends to um to keep <laughs> to yeah, keep checking to see who comes in. <laughs> well, we've been hopeful. We sent it out on a Thursday, so like every Thursday we've been like <laughs> counting up oh how boy. many weeks. Yep. And. Uh, It'd be, how awkward would it be if they got back and I was like, nah, we don't like it. Nah, forget it. Well, they did that to my last one. But the last one was a collection of stories about Cinderella, and it wasn't uh-huh. a full length. And this is a play about high school. I'm, I mean, I'm sure we're good. Pretty hopeful. I'm sure we're good. I, I have faith. You got a play published about, about uh, prepaid cell phone cards. But that was so. when it was still a thing. Yeah. But the play was not about that. I like it was that just play, part. I haven't read the play, but I like the idea. I'll read your plays. One yeah, you definitely need. I gave the scripts to you to read. I read one of your plays, the one I wrote the, with you. Yes, you have done that. <laughs> you should probably commentate on actually what's happening. That would be a good thing. This this scene went so much faster. Like, okay, so this is the se- this is the second performance of it. 
Yeah, so that, we made him move it. Yeah. It, it dragged so bad Friday. Oh, Lord. Isn't, and this is the third performance. Right. Because it was Friday night, and then a Saturday matinee, Saturday right. night, Sunday matinee. Yeah, that's why I think this one was... Yeah, it, and we, we made finally it. got it. Yeah, and this that's why this one, it hit everything, got in two hours and 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, we, it was three hours on Friday night, and it was miserable. Well, I was, I felt bad. I felt like, okay, we should just cut it before the last song, but then I couldn't do that. Like, yeah. No, we just got to let it play all the way just through. let it do, and let it happen. People liked it. It was good. They did. Nobody, nobody complained to me about the length. Not one person. So, I don't know. Nobody, nobody complained to me about the length either, but like, I, I mean, we knew though that like, it was just too long. Sitting in the gym for three hours, yeah. and it's like 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. It's like, Jesus Christ. Right. It was too long. Yeah. But, um, uh, I am proud of Jillian. She came through here. She she really didn't want to do that part, but she she did it. She did I, it very well. Yeah. She actually see. No, well, there's Grace. <laughs> there's a lot of people. I think high school, everybody, uh, there weren't a lot of people who didn't do something. Actually, that's not true. That's, that's a false statement. The ones who were in it. The ones who yeah. actually did the play did a very good job yeah everybody who was in it. I felt like and maybe it's just because I didn't work with the fourth hour cast on on Grimm Brothers but to me there's just this feeling of like oh there's so many more people involved in this one but I th that's just because there's new people for me yeah. I don't think that's true I think there's a lot less people involved mm, a less overall. overall people had all these reasons to drop out well you yeah. remember when we were leading up to it like oh, every yeah. day I would tell y'all to count we lost one today lost three over the weekend yeah people every like, single oh, day my goodness. It, it was, was stressful. It, I, I try not to do stress. I really do. I try very hard, but that was pretty stressful. Yeah, and like, but uh, you, you you kept saying like, oh, this won't be the same cast. But I think it was a lot more than you thought. It right? really was. Like every every single day. No, I, I didn't expect that. I really didn't. Did you just have static, or are you hear? I heard static. But just static. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Must have just been a little. Must have been a little. Longer. Michael did such a good job. <laughs> the I best love part. Michael as the teacher. Me too. Oh. <laughs> Listen to this voice. That sounds so Oh wow, so the mic worked for half a second. For that one, for this one yeah. time. I don't think it came in for the other announcements ever. It, it never did. Right. But it works so perfectly here. Yeah, it, really it sounds like radio voice. Oh, it's perfect. I'm really happy he was involved in this. Because um, yeah. he wasn't in Grimm. He did a good job. Yeah. every part that he played, he really did. Do you remember how many votes he got for Best Actor? I don't. This is Matthew we're talking about. He played the principal. Because I just remember talking to a lot of people, and a lot of people said they voted for Matthew. Mm -hmm. but I, I, I should have kept the tally, and I just didn't. I think for the best actor, after the first couple, there was a big drop off. But I think, like, it, it, like, I just wonder. I just, I just want. I was curious. I'm curious how many. No, he several got. people made a good showing, but there were just some that were above. Yeah. You know, I love this. He raises his hand before he sits down. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Every, and I'm I so glad that he got to play it all four times because it would have been fine with Andrew, but. But I mean, it's Seth's role. And Seth he, is the Patreon. Pilot. He is the he is. That is who he actually is. Yeah. Had the sound cut out for me. Did it for you? Me too. Okay. But he's got a role with it. We know what they say. Yeah, we do. But I didn't know if it was a, <laughs> a glitch in the. Aw, can't hear Elise. Oh, the best part. That's mm. too funny. I really am glad that you took so much of this and put it in homeroom. It just makes me happy. I just like we. Yeah. You know, art. Art breeds art. You know. Yeah. And, and inspires. Maybe is a better word. Inspired. There. Yeah, yes. I was very inspired. Alice was not. I talked about before how I had the idea of homeroom before this te before we did this play, but Alice was not someone was going to be in homeroom. In fact, Liz from homeroom was probably going to be a bit more like Alice. Liz is the part Zoe play. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She was probably going to be a bit more like Alice, but I toned that emo part of her down mm -hmm. to put in Alice. Gotcha. Oh, I can't even hear Dre. Oh, oh no. Look how sad he looks. I know, <laughs> sad boy. But it, I I keep telling him those shorts are. <laughs> You know, Trey, Trey really looked the part for it. Trey, like, the baggy pants. Like, oh, man. Trey looks like a cool He looks person. like Trey acting like a sad person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, didn't do the look. I think he just wore school clothes. And, but it's okay. But that's what we, I mean, he's supposed to. We're in uniform, even though yeah, we're no, not but, uniform. That's just what he had, I guess. Okay, I so, like, I think the problem with the short shorts is that when he wears the short shorts, you can see his muscular thighs. <laughs> and it's like, look at how, like, Magnificent of a man this is. So Tristan should not have been He's, muscular thighs. Yeah, either. Tristan is not a guy who has muscular right. thighs. And so we should have just yeah. wrapped him all up in a loose package so nobody could tell. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. She's just wearing a sweatshirt over her school shirt. Yeah, that's so fine. 
Cupid actually has on his school shirt here. Yes. I, I will never forget you sitting next to me in the audience going, what is he wearing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm going backstage going, where is your school shirt? Oh, I don't have one. Oh. Oh, but okay. then he's wearing, what? Yeah. What? And then literally for the last, like, four weeks of school, I think, he never wore, I mean, nobody said a word to him, but he did he's, not wear a uniform. So the story shirt. behind that is on the, on during the Saturday matinee, which was Cupid's first performance, oh my God. Oh, that's wow, when that this happened. Really, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That actually happened on stage. That was so... And the whole audience cracked up. <laughs> that was ridiculously loud. And I don't know if you can hear, but I can't. But but he said... Uh, Michael said, Abram, I told you to stop... James, I told you to stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good fill-in. Yeah, good improv. Okay, go with it, you know. Make it work. It was hilarious. It, it, it turned out pretty funny. But uh, anyway, during the Saturday matinee, Cupid, me and Manos were sitting next to each other in the front row watching it, and Cupid came out. You know, it took me a couple. Th- it took me a couple scenes. I was like, I "What the make, hell is he wearing?" I totally didn't see it. And you said it to me, and I looked. Yeah. I'm gonna start texting him. He was wearing backstage. a t-shirt, just, just a black t-shirt. Uh, it had some writing on it too. It's yeah. not like it just blended in or yeah. anything. And, but I mean, and, Cupid pulls it off because nobody yeah. sees it. You know. And, and then he said, "Then he said, um, he said." I haven't wore a school shirt in weeks, but literally in the trailer we filmed for this play, he yeah, was wearing right. a school I shirt. I remember that. that. Yes, I did. I totally forgot that. Well, it was honestly. <laughs> what we're doing right now, it was so difficult not to do this while we're watching the play. Like, oh, you are so right. Well, we did. We're sitting there going, <laughs> I know, and we <laughs> had to stop, and you had to stop me a lot of times. And uh, you stopped me a few, or yeah. I stopped myself anyway, because I knew people behind us are, you know. Yeah, and then one time I like. It was it was during this one. I, I had the camera. I was gonna film some stuff. I filmed a lot of stuff. On this is the night I filmed most of the stuff that went in the banquet video, mm-hmm. which turned out to be a very great video. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had the camera, and a couple times I turned it on, and you can just hear like the little beeping, and I'm like, oh, I that and that's when you you had to calm me down. You were like, it's fine. <laughs> it's, fine. it's not we're a good. big deal. Because I'm sure other people's cameras were doing that. Yeah. Look at her hand. She keeps grabbing something that's not there. <laughs> She's so air heavy. We talked about it. Uh, with Andre, I was listening to the, to the episode two of Homeroom Radio with Andre. Uh, we talked about how Candace. So okay, whenever you wrote, I forget who came up with Candace. I don't remember either. But you came up with the name Candace. For Candace. For because yeah. you, you thought of Candace for it. I've I always thought of, of Lauren actually really? before, yeah. before for the tree leader. I always thought of Lauren. Like everybody always says, like oh the. Part for Candace was written for Candace, but in my mind, I was always writing it for Lauren. No okay. offense to Candace, I think Candace is oh, great. Oh, she did a fantastic job. But also, I see Candace as more of a, of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Be careful <laughs> there. <laughs> well, a, a bitchy character. We'll yeah. Say that. Uh, uh, yes. And that's always been my show for Lauren. Uh, so, I I always saw Lauren as doing that. I don't know. Just the way Candace comes across you can see how somebody would be annoyed by her and she's yeah like, you she's know. annoying Lauren's just like a bad person yeah. and I loved how they did that who I, what, was it Lauren or was it Candace who forgot Jessica's name it was Lauren it was okay that's what I thought mm-hmm. I knew Lauren did it I didn't know if Candace did it too no she never did she was just all bubbly and yeah, jump up and down bubbly and happily she reminds me Candace I don't think I've told this story before I don't think I've told you this before but um Candace looks a lot like my sister Madison oh okay Candace looks an awful lot, like like an annoying amount, like my sister. And she acts in this play. She acts an annoying amount, like my sister. And it makes me really uncomfortable. It makes me really upset when I, I watch I've never it. Heard that. Because she looks and acts just like the way Madison does. Oh wow! And Andre, who has known Madison, oh okay, since okay. sixth grade, yeah. and Andre, who plays Daniel, and the he, other, and not this one. But yeah, right now it's cast. Joel playing Daniel. But in the other cast. Because well, it's convenient that Andre never had to play Daniel oh, okay. with Candace as Candace, but I pointed it out to him, and he was like, "Because oh, <laughs> he's known Madison for years, so it's like it would have been difficult. It would have been very difficult yeah. for Andre to to be in a romance with basically my sister. So he was he was very happy that he only had to play it with Lauren. So here's Seth saying you're ruining my magic, which is a throwback to Grimm Brothers. We do a lot of throwbacks. Oh yeah. We, I mean, just everything we write seems to and constantly. The play we're writing right now. We keep thinking of jokes, <laughs> and we want to put them in, but we have to stop ourselves. From both plays, from Grimm and from yes, high yeah, exa- yes, it's not hilarious. It's our it's style. It's funny. It's our style. Because we think of the jokes. <laughs> I think especially, if, I think in the newest play, the most jokes we've made have been from this one though. And they're not even in it because we, we think about them and then we type them like oh, nope, that's too much. Yep. But they're so. And I think it's because we wrote this, so just we. I know everybody's lines. Mm-hmm. I know like I know everybody's lines for this scene. 
Yeah. We also work on this scene so much. Oh, we really did. We did a lot of work on our homeroom scene. Well, first hour, we changed it to first hour. First hour. So it's still hard to call it homeroom. We called it homeroom for like forever. three days. Yeah. It wasn't even forever. It was for it like... It seemed like a long time, but everybody in the play called it homeroom too. Yeah. Especially. I love how our class sets. It's like, come in, go out. It's like a two-minute class. Man, it's the kind of class I want to yeah. be in, right? <laughs> well, we were going to have the bell. We thought about having the bell ringing yeah. after, but... But even the bell or not, I'm just saying yeah. the scenes are so short, you know. Yeah, but it's fine. I mean, it, it gets the point across, but it just it's a funny little thing. Yeah. And here she is trying to open her locker. Taylor wrote this scene. I thought it was really And I don't think we kept the scene. No, we didn't. Because it just was too long on It stage. was too long. And on Friday night, I think there were more, it was longer. Because I think then we, there, was, there was only one more person that we took out. Yeah, we did. Somebody else to come bother her. So we cut that, and then we told them to speed it up, and they did. But just the overall length, it was just too much for the version that we want to publish. But I really thought Taylor did a good job with just cute with the numbers getting mixed up in her head. Yeah, yeah, I, I like the scene a lot. I think I like the scene more than you like the scene. I think I even like like um, it on stage more than you like yeah, it. Yeah, I, I never thought it played well on stage. I thought it was just too draggy. I think I what really saved it, I think what saved it on stage was Nevaeh's part. Nevaeh with Kennedy mm -hmm. and Kennedy... Uh, I think I, I don't even know if it was in this performance, but definitely in the Sunday performance, Kennedy started throwing in little things. Mm -hmm. No, it was this. I remember in the interview for the banquet right, video, right. I came up to her and congratulated her. The she small like, things. Yeah, the small yeah. things, yeah. Because she kept, she just threw in a couple yeah, little like things. Yeah, so like there's one. So annoying. Yeah, that were hilarious. And I think she did it very well. So I liked this scene a lot more than you did. Yeah, I wouldn't did. have cut it. If well, I, I would have cut it. I mean, we could have put it back in, but by the time we got it down to about two hours, yeah. I, you know, I, this one was long too. Wasn't it like five minutes yeah. or something? It, it was one. Of, it was longer than some of our homeroom scenes. I remember Here's being backstage. This was on Friday night. Oh, my bad. Okay. I remember being on like Friday night, mm -hmm. and it was like at the end of the second scene. By the end of this scene on Friday night, it was already thirty minutes in, and I was like, God, it's mm -hmm. okay. But then on Saturday during the matinee, I remember like looking over at you, and it was like at the end of this, it was like eight minutes. It's, this it's is it's going so well. Here's Nevaeh. But yeah, this is this is this is what saved it. Shoot, I was supposed to go home and look for phone numbers. I didn't do that yet. I need we need to get in touch with Nevaeh. Oh, see wow. if he's gonna stay with us. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. Nobody seems to know. I don't think anybody's been in touch with him. Jason, I can I can ask Jason. Yeah. Okay. Well, there is a lock somewhere on the actual locker. <laughs> <laughs> that, that annoyed it's my whatever. daughter. She's like, she never touched the locker. Yeah, they could have just put it in the lock. I got a text from Dre. Ask Dre to come by. Okay. Uh, a little bit later, we're going to have a very surprise. I'm not going to say who's popping in a little bit later, but there will be a surprise. Aww. Oh, he sent me a, another meme. Okay. I love this. It's like, come here, come here, let me tell you. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah, yells yeah, in her face. Yeah, he's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this whole thing is so good. I I don't, I don't know. I say I would have kept it, but I, I think there, there isn't a scene that we would have kept that I would have replaced this with. So yeah. maybe I mean, it's, it wasn't an awful scene. It was just slow. It played slow on stage. They do. It's a full blackout. Yeah. Man, that lighting fiasco. Yeah. We're not even. Mm. It, was, it was confusing. Yeah. But we, we worked with it. That's the thing. We just kept going. We just yeah. moved through whatever happened and made it work. I remember it was during, maybe it was, I don't know which, I don't know which performance it was that I went backstage and I was like, all right, guys, no matter what happens, just keep moving. Mm -hmm. I don't care if the lights are completely black, say your line. And that's what kept, that's what got You're me. right. I don't we know, we I don't had to cut every pause. We had yeah. to, every single pause. I don't and that was a really short transition there, so that was good. Yeah, yeah. He's ready, he's ready for his life to get over with. <laughs> 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 Come on now, keep it. We love you. We should be around a little bit longer now. <laughs> I'm going to keep it on the podcast uh, in a couple weeks. And Cora yeah. wants to do it, too. Okay. She said it's going to be Cupid and Cora. Now they're going to do it together? Yeah, Cora asked to be on it. And then she said, hey, is Cupid going to be on it? I was like, yeah, I was like, can we just do it together? Sure, yeah. why not? Uh, you know, they always had plenty to say to each other in class, so maybe we'll get to hear what some of that was. <laughs> oh, boy, I cannot wait to hear about Cupid. In fact, I think I feel bad for Dean because Dean's been loyal. Unlike Michael, right. Dean actually shows up for the Every recordings. Time. But I might have Dean sit this one out and just like Michael, maybe even me, and just have Michael keep it in Cora. No, no, I'm gonna be in it. No, <laughs> no, you have to be in it. Yeah. I have to say this conversation is 
a little forced to cut to introduce the next scene. I mean, I don't know yeah. who would just stand up and say, "Hey, do you have some friends?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, we had to have it there. It was, kind of, yeah, I think. It it's Michaela, but Jessica asked Michaela. Right. I mean, I guess it's sort of. I, at, right now, it feels like weird. Yeah. But then when the next scene happens, I think it's like, oh, that's why she talked about that. Exactly. I don't know if that's very good storytelling, though. I mean, I but, don't know what else we could have done to. Mm -hmm. it, it just had to be there. And then and then he pops up and just starts talking, too. So it, it's like, this, people talk in class, so I guess it's not that weird. It's a, I, I sort of. It's almost like. So I think of everything as like a movie. You know, like yeah. what, what we would show if it was a movie. I think, like, before this conversation, a, a shot we would have showed was, like, a close-up of him being, like... Yeah. Like, he's, so, he's sitting at his desk, like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna say something mm -hmm. about it. And he probably was doing that, Yeah. The, the stage position was, didn't Yeah, I'm sure show. he was. And, and he was doing that, but we just couldn't show that on stage. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> W-H-U-T. What? <laughs> a, Cupid. a Cupidism. <laughs> it was Friday night that the, they blacked out before I said my little I'm, and I didn't want to scream what, and maybe this is so minor and dumb, but I didn't want to scream what in the black stage, because I felt like that might be, like, weird that I'm just saying what, so instead I said no problem. I don't know how I thought that'd be better. Well... Well, because I think if you said what, it might be like, is he confused about why it's black? But if I say no problem, it sounds like an actual line. Yeah. Oh, but here you go, the pelican dude. Did we keep this scene? I don't remember. We did not. I didn't think so. But part of me felt like maybe you wanted to because of more pelican. I couldn't remember. I just felt like in the flow for something that's going to be published, it just didn't work. Because we had so I many agree. scenes here. Because there's this one, then there's the game show, then there's the... Uh, yeah. I mean, it was just too many. I don't, I don't necessarily like this scene. I think I think Caitlin... Ka Caitlin. Caitlin... Right, the bully. That's her name. The the bully. Bully. I think she made the scene. Oh, work. she was hilarious. I think I think that's. I I hated this scene until she did it, and then I thought it was hilarious. Well, I really liked it because Katie Mack wrote it, and I thought that yeah. was a really. She did a really good job with it, and then it, it actually is based on some of the actual girls that played yeah. the roles helping her, and it, it was just meaningful in a lot of ways for oh, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but I, mean, I didn't I see it never, for. I never didn't want to put it on stage. No, but I didn't see it fitting in the published version. Yeah. And I think there was actually, I think it was like, part of it was kind of weird, but then we cleaned it, when we added the pelican. Yes. When we added the pelican, that's when it made sense and it was good. That's when it, it actually really started with the pelican, though. The, uh, Seth said something in class about uh, doing, do, no, Katie Mack wanted to write her scene. Seth had an idea for that, like, let me pop in and help people. I'm like, ooh, let's just put them together. That's well, what I remember, thinking. well, because I remember seeing... Katie's original script, and it, and it was, and that's where we confused. Before the Pelican was added, right. I did see the original script. Yeah. Uh, and but then once the Pelican was added, that's when it mm -hmm. made sense. And, and that was just added because we we had him talking about his 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 uh, character, patriotic yeah. Pelican. I'm like, well, we can put him in there. And who knew that he would like take over the whole framework of the play? I yeah. really do like what you did with the end. Uh, and now oh, my yeah. work was done. You know, yeah. it made everything just fit together all the way. The patriotic. Well, I think it's funny. And maybe it's a little too far apart. Actually, maybe it... It works better in the published version. When we took out... Because... Okay, let's get our thoughts together. At the end of the final classroom scene, uh, the pelican says, um, a pelican's work is never done. Then it goes to the uh, go the distance scene. And then it goes back to his monologue. In the published version, and I wrote this joke in, and it works better in the published version because it goes straight from that. He says, a pelican's work is never done. Then he walks to the front of the stage and goes, so the patriotic pelican's work was done. I think that's, I think that's, I think that can be hilarious. Yeah, it depends it on just, how It doesn't do. work because it, there's a separation. Right. But right. if it goes straight from there. Yeah, this is the friends group scene. Yeah. And that comes before the game show. Yeah, because she's watching. Yeah. I love Madison. I think she did she's such so a phenomenal this. job. In every know. role we gave her, she just did it. Oh, took it. That's what Angel did in this. Yeah. We were, yeah, we were trying to remember. I'm sorry, Angel. We didn't remember what you did. But I think it might have even been different on different nights mm -hmm. because there was so much confusion about who was going to play which role. Oh, my gosh. So I don't think there was ever a scene that was the same. No, on from one to the next. It was so thrown together. It was... The chart I made was literally four pages long yeah. to keep up with who was going to do what scene on what night. <laughs> Here's Michael. Michael. Michael, who did nothing ever <laughs> and was like not really I would I would say and everybody in theater did amazing but there were some famous people and there were some not so famous people 
like people who did something that just stood out maybe they just got lucky maybe it's just the role they had but they did something that stood out and and michael as good as he was as the fish he just wasn't that person but then when he did his line that will come up later <laughs> it was brought the house yeah down. it was the most incredible thing i've ever witnessed on stage funny funny Honestly, kale kept walking and over i was like there. stay stay and come I back to the middle and I kept telling them not to look at each other. I think yeah. they actually do at some point. No, you're supposed to not see each other. But, it, but like, okay, so this is supposed to be black. This is blacked out. He gets to a point where he's literally standing in darkness having the scene. <laughs> move over. Uh, I, I remember the audience came. during rehearsal when I, did some, when I did some directing, the one thing I know that I said, because I feel like whenever we were directing, I felt like I wasn't a good director because I was just sitting there not saying anything. But maybe that's just because what I was looking at was good. But the only thing I remember saying as a director was, Kale, stay center stage. <laughs> and he just couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. He's just wandering. Here we go with our friend uh, Game Show. And I said Game uh, Show was a nod to uh, Graham, too. Yes, it was. Because this, uh, this is the scene I wrote. Yeah. And before I knew I was going to be Jonathan, I was just going to be the Game Show. Well, because you were in Grimm and you were kept talking about, well, when yeah. I come out, it cracked me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, because yeah. I'm used to be I did, I, I, I like, the you were looking at broader horizons. Yeah. We kept then, this in the published version. We did. Yeah. And, and I liked. Um, and then and then I thought about actually having the pelican be the host. It worked very well. That really made a difference because the scene wasn't bad, but the pelican totally. It, it was very it weird. In. It was very weird. It didn't. It didn't make sense at all, unless it, it would have made. I had an idea, and I never. I wrote anything with it, but a, an idea I had would be like have multiple game hosts, game show host things. So it's like the game show host is a character who keeps popping up at the school, and they're like, "Who's that kid who keeps running around as a game show host?" But it turned out we already had a yeah. Well, yeah. it works because it's, it's that's the same gimmick the pelican has. Yeah. Who's that kid who runs around as the pelican? So yeah, pelican's a game show host, and it works. It works fine. Yeah. Part of the scene is a little weird at first, where she kind of just like, okay, and she sits down. There's no questioning what's going on, but also it's a it's a play about a guy, a kid who runs around dressed as a pelican. Yeah, I mean, it's just to get the point across that she's trying to figure out who to be friends with. Yeah. She said she looked she's looking for friends. I, I don't think that was awkward. Well, I mean, it's just staging, you know. Oh no, I don't. I don't think. I don't know. It's just sort of like it's just a little weird. Like it doesn't flow. It's like it's like a little like little bump in the road. Okay. I think. I think we wanted to do a game show, so that way we just didn't have another, like, group scene. Mm -hmm. or, the group scene's drag. I mean, I, I was modeling them after that play we didn't do, and yeah, it just yeah. turned out that it didn't work for us. But then in the publisher thing, it worked, because there were a couple really good little small scenes mm -hmm. that could have just been fine by themselves. And, and that's that, what we that, kept. That's what we kept. I, wanted to, I think I wanted to do a game show host scene, because I thought that'd be really interesting and a good break. Like, mm -hmm. there's a couple scenes that are very... And I don't want to like brag, but I think every scene that I wrote was very like. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say good. I'm gonna say I think every scene I wrote was very, very different okay. from from well, every other scene. I can understand that. Like Battle for the Gym, the original gimmick for Battle of the Gym is. Um, no, we'll talk about Battle for the Gym yeah, when, when we get, get there. To it. Yeah. yeah. So this look at Abram coming in. <laughs> yeah. James. I think that might have looked weird from like certain angles in the in the audience maybe with him bouncing like that yeah not maybe not being able to see Michaela because she's like a twig and then the other Michaela is also small I mean we I think we were in a good position to see it but I just wonder if any if anybody else got it well I mean it made sense once he turned around oh, yeah, and yeah. It's just a and it's okay for him to come in being silly because yeah. then you wonder what's up you yeah know? so you funny. watch to find out yeah, well, being a proud mom of a band nerd, band nerds <laughs> everywhere probably even look at this scene and either say, oh, yeah, or oh, my God. <laughs> I, yeah. Too stereotypical. But that's what, you know, you yeah. got to make it relatable. Every every joke makes fun of somebody. Right. And band nerds happen to be in this one. Right. Dean and talked about how a lot of monologues were to push an agenda. I and, heard that. I heard that. Yeah. and uh, But I think this one was like... It's pushed, just to, she was jokingly pushing the agenda. I, I fact, don't really see an agenda at all. No, there's just, not. There's not. That's. It's like a joke. Like she's pushing her. She's push. She is pushing her in character. She's pushing her agenda. I uh, suppose. Band yeah. is so hard. Yeah, and who are you to say you're yeah. tired when you don't have any idea how yeah. much work I do and we don't get any respect? Yeah, I just think this is one of the scenes Dean was talking about. 
okay. one of them. And I'm like, nah, man, it's, 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 it's all fun. And it plays with the stereotype very well. Another thing I wrote. Wow. I guess if it's good, it's one of the things I wrote. Well, yeah, not that I have any experience or anything. <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm the one that, like, wove everything yeah. together. And, not like Miss Vanoss was the person who made the whole thing make any yeah. sense at all. Right, exactly. I'm just joking. I know you are. Boy, Taylor's going off here. Oh, Taylor, Sharon. Taylor actually did write this part. She did. And she Taylor loves wrote this most line. of Sharon's lines. It's another joke we put in there. And Dingy Springs has put the solution in a box. Yeah. Well, we didn't actually put it. We no, talked we about, about it. it. And then with the hobo and the other play we're writing, it could fit in there, too. Oh, my gosh. I love this with the uh, headband. Yeah. Oh, look how he does it. That's so cute how he takes it off. So. <laughs> I like that we had a group scene. I think that broke up the classroom mm -hmm. scenes a bit. Mm -hmm. And the people, I, I would love to see like what they actually were writing when they're not. <laughs> That's one of the things for the, uh, we thought about and we couldn't, there's no way we could have fit it now, having we didn't try to do that, but having an auction at the banquet, some mm -hmm. of the stuff was like the stuff they wrote. Mm -hmm. And it was some stupid stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, you still have them. We were going to sell them at the auction. I don't know if we still have them or not. I might have. I think we kept it because you kept keep a lot of things it's like well maybe one day we'll do a scene where you need group work and I'm like Miss Vanoss we can print it out again it's like no nah, we'll keep it okay. I don't think I did I okay. really don't but you had it laminated and everything <laughs> <laughs> well I, ha I have been a pack rat I come by that very honest but when I'm cleaning out my classroom especially after the flood I, I, I don't keep nearly as much as I used to what I do think is funny is how you actually went home and found a group work thing just well, in case someone sees it well, I mean, I printed it up on the computer. I didn't go home and do it. I, I just, um, it's, I mean, you have to be real. It's a stage, you know. You're right. You're so right. even though we're not going to have the TV close up, I mean, it, it, was, it was printed pretty big, group work, and it, you know. Okay, here's her. Is, is this pushing an agenda? What do we think? I don't see <laughs> this is an pushing an agenda. No, there's no, I, I disagree with what Dean was saying, yeah, except for one scene we'll yeah, talk no, about I later. Know, no, I know exactly which uh, one, but. Yeah. We just have to let the characters, yeah. you know. I don't know this is pushing an agenda, I think it's pushing character. Right, exactly. and developing, developing, developing character. character. Yeah. Right. And this scene works to fit Dean's ha head canon of how, um, of how Candace does not, about how Daniel does not break up with Candace. This establishes her as like, I think, I think this establishes her as not being a bad person. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't think I ever saw her as a bad person, but I don't I know if the two types of characters would fit together. In your head, do they break up? I don't think they would stay together, no. Yeah. I mean, I'm they're right. just too different. Uh, I can see how they would have the attraction and it would be interesting, but that they would not be. Yes, I've been there. They would just not be alike enough to, yeah. to you know, yeah. It's, it's, you like her because it's, I don't know, I think Daniel likes her because. I think Daniel genuinely likes her. I do too, because he sees what we just saw. Yeah, he, yeah, exa exactly. That's what I was trying to get earlier. That builds character and then makes it makes it work later. That Daniel, he sees all of that. Right. And what's different is that like people like Blake and Dustin don't see any of that. Yeah, they, they just, just see her as, as hot cheerleader. Yeah. yeah right. And and Daniel, I think through, you know, he never explicitly said. Well, actually, he does say it. He literally says later, it's like, I see all of these things that she's talking about. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's why he likes her. Well, I have to so brag much. now. I wrote this one. And yes. even though it caused chaos because I used the word Macbeth oh, on God. stage, oh, we did change that for publication. So nobody yes. will have to go run outside and spin and spit. Yeah. But um, I just, I, I loved the idea because we were originally oh, going to try so to good. do some kind of fairy tale fitting in and we had just mm -hmm. done fairy tales I'm like no if it's about school let's do something about school work mm -hmm. and I thought about what can I do she's studying and she goes to sleep and it's in her head so I mean yeah. I know Shakespeare pretty well so I, I, I love this scene I didn't like it at first I was like this man I was, what? this is kind of freaking weird isn't it but then it worked it just worked very well it made sense I just like the idea of it I mean she's yeah. got a lot on her mind she puts her head down for her 10 minute nap and then what what she was studying invades her brain and I love the scene I love the verses. I think they say oh, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Hilarious, especially when, when Matthew does his that was his, so uh, funny. his wish voice. thing with the wig all up in his mouth. <laughs> if I could have done anything, if I could have done anything differently, it would have been me, Andre, and Matthew as the witches. Well, y'all did it in class, but it just yeah. didn't fit with the 
Yeah. Well, no, because I was Jonathan. I can't right. go be a witch, and he was and Daniel. And Andre was Daniel. Yeah, right. but it was, Matthew was in the too, so that's what matters. And it was, and it was great. It was good. I love the verses. I, I, I think I've learned to trust you uh, more because I think there's, there's been, there's many scenes in this play where I'm like, that's not gonna work on stage, and then else that sucks, and then it's like really great. Like, uh, I don't mean, I, I don't know. This one, this one specifically, I guess, is it's yeah. like that's well, not gonna work. Another statistic, which comes up later, I was like, I don't know if that's gonna work, but you're like, it's fine, trust me, and I'm like, oh, no, I don't know, and I, I, I I'm like kind of kicking myself for not having more faith <laughs> that because you know what you're talking about, uh, you've done this a long time. Kind of do, David. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, Thanks. I'm learning. Oh, there's Angel again. Every yes. Oh, I remember every, now. Yeah. Um, every time Angel pops up, I gotta point it out. We had to work with her to make her more witch-like. And then she's so nice. She she had a hard time yeah. sounding like a witch. Look at her like smiling. <laughs> she's like yeah. all the way to the right as Angel. She's like smiling and happy. <laughs> she best, got the real lilt and the yeah. Her best role ever is when I when oh, she I know. plays discount. Written you reject Willy Wonka. That was great. Destroy her. Suppress your creativity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you never see Matthew's face, like, ever. Like, not one time. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, baby. It's fine. We got the little hunch going on. Like, hunch He's back. not one of those actors. You know, have you heard, like, stories about ho- actors in Hollywood that, like... All right, so, like, um, Mark Ruffalo plays the Incredible Hulk. He, and Thor Ragnarok, um, he actually had, like, a thing in his contract where he didn't, he couldn't be Hulk for more than a certain amount of time because he wanted his face on screen because it's like, I need more face time and stuff like that because I'm an actor. Matthew's not that actor. Matthew's a team player. <laughs> no, he Thanks, plays Matthew. the role. Full Thanks, out. Matthew. <laughs> if Matthew was Hulk, he would play Hulk the whole time. That's right. He would do whatever was best for the script. No vanity involved. By the way, I'm just going to point out every time I see Angel because I had an entire conversation with her about what she did and I had to BS it because I didn't remember. <laughs> now you do. <laughs> did you watch it while it was uploaded? Well, I was uh, no, I have not watched it again. Again, okay. Since I have not watched it in full since since um last time I watched it in full was when I watched it with you on the net. It was full. Right. This but, is good. I like that we got the actual band uniforms from yeah. Central. Whoop whoop to Central. Thank you very much <laughs> for letting us borrow that. Is this one they messed up? Um, I don't remember. Oh, well, look, the the person. Okay, let me call this out. Three people on stage. Only one of them is actually in band. And she is the one who does not have on the full uniform. <laughs> yeah, she's wearing the coats. You can see the coat. Yes, it's not like even zipped up in the off. back. But this is a person who puts on her bibbers to actually perform and did not get them on stage to come well, to her role. She exited, she exited stage right. Yeah, and she, then, did, she did have time. Well, I think, from my understanding is, she was like, like sort of like halfway through the last scene. She was like, oh, crap, I need to get over there. Mm-hmm. So, then, so then she ran out of time. I know Michaela Hash was able to get them on. And I think, I think she got it on fully mm-hmm. the next time, too, so... But she it was fine. Got it. She did what she had to do. The show yeah. must go on, and she proceeded and did a fantastic job. Now I'm gonna be honest. I cannot hear a single bit of the dialogue they're saying. I only hear static in my headphones. That's I'm fine. I I remember what they say, and I'm watching it, so I know what's happening. But you gotta tell it. me if they mess up. Okay, I can hear. Because I know at one point it's these three that do mess up. Do you remember like somebody forgot a line? Like yes, it was yeah, the it was the part. It it is this. It's it's this one. It's coming up. Somebody, like they just sit there blankly. Then Madison has to save all of them. Can you, can you hear it? Oh, can you hear it? A little bit. I can, but I don't want to get picked up in the mic, so okay. it's fine. All right. It's fine. I can hear it sort of through this. I just also hear static. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. I don't know. Was there a point where they were kind of... I maybe it's just I, me. I don't really know. I know Madison saved the day quite a few times in yeah. general, but I don't specifically remember You know what? That. Maybe it was a different time. Because I think it was a time that I was backstage and I was watching it and I was like, oh, okay. oh God. Oh, God. It's just not... not yeah. ha- but they, again, we kept it moving some kind of way. Yeah. We kept oh, it going. Oh, so many things. We did. This isn't the night that everything screwed up, but... Is this the night that we skipped the whole scene? Is it? No, I think it was... Well, maybe. Cause I think it might be. I think it might be because Taylor. I was, we were sitting next to Ashley, and Taylor's playing Sharon right now. So Ashley was there. So yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, they t- they handled it. No, I can't hear any of what's happening here. Can you? So the sound just didn't. Pick I can it hear up. the trumpet a little I bit. I can't. I can't at all. So it's just the way it's split in mm-hmm. the. Yeah. Sometimes the sound messes up. It's okay. Uh, that works. 
<laughs> That's what got, we got. She got that long hair covering up the fact that her uh, jacket is <laughs> not <laughs> zipped in the Whatever. back. <laughs> it works fine. <laughs> oh. Ooh, it's coming back a little bit for me. No, is that Michael the announcer? I can't recall. Because I, I think, think so. half the time he just like screamed because yeah, he couldn't find the mic. Yeah, he couldn't find the mic. And yeah, I think it was. Um, it was him. Okay. I think uh, now. That, actually, no, nah, never mind. I was going to say that I can, like, oh, let's make sure we get, like, everything recorded properly, but I'm not in control of the sound stuff, so yeah. however that goes, going to have to go again. Hopefully it goes a little bit better this year, get some better recordings. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. That's another long group scene. Yeah. This works pretty well, though. Well, I, I like when we finally just combine <clears throat> all the lines instead of cutting them up like we originally did, because yeah. they couldn't hear each other at all, and they didn't know where to start, and... It was just too confusing, but having them come in in groups and go back out. Oh, looks did we ever did we ever do a performance where they came in all together no, at one time? No, we changed it before the first performance. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Yeah, that would have been well. The main thing was what she told me because she she would have been all the way stage left and she could not hear the the last person stage right to know when to start her next line. Yeah. And so, yeah. and we only had to split this one. Yeah, so all the it, other it ones, works, they played the whole well. little short scene before the next short scene came. And, so and them splitting it up makes it different from like the other group yeah, scenes. Yeah, exactly. I think we, I think we did a lot. I think the f the first couple of drafts of this play were pretty repetitive, probably. Probably, I don't know. I haven't read them. I don't, I don't know if I ever, actually I probably have them saved on my computer. But the first drafts are probably pretty repetitive. But now it's, I think we did a lot to make it yeah. split up. Make the, there's very diverse, mm -hmm. a very large amount of diverse scenes in this. There really are, and I think just from what I heard in the audience, they're like, oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. Like what we did really did reflect high school mm -hmm. as it is today. You know. I agree. And I love Nevada. I, I love. The, I wrote this part, and I thought it was just cute. The, the whole cheating thing and the, the little jokes that we threw in. They oh, were yeah. small, but. I think only a couple times it really hit though but like you were using a mechanical pencil mm -hmm. and, and he said something about like I wouldn't call it cheating what, what's the line yeah. oh you, you I'm well, listening I mean because she's just saying remember I've never seen somebody so obvious about dropping oh. <laughs> drop my pencil on the way to the pencil sharpener oh I hear it <laughs> And then he just the, yeah, that's the part that's hilarious. <laughs> well, that's just all in the veil right there. Okay, now the backpack scene, that was based on several suggestions of people who were like, okay, give me some just stuff. And somebody's talking about the messy backpack versus the ultra-organized backpack. Now, I'm pretty sure the, that, that cheating that cheating scene is one of the scenes we kept in. Because mm -hmm. it was real. Because well, we had to change the dialogue, remember? Yeah. We, yeah, we yeah, had yeah. Sharon talking to Candace. Candace wanted her notes, and Sharon was like, no. Was that, we do this with Sharon? No. Um, in the first hour of scenes for the one, no, for the published version, the published version. <laughs> uh, quote, we, uh, the hopefully the, will be yes, published version. Soon, we're going to find out very soon. Um, anyway, we had her talking about cheating, so it led into the cheating scene. Oh, we cut that's right, one. that's right. We cut this one. Even though this went pretty well, but I think it was Madison. I don't know, I can't give Madison enough praise. No, she just totally did it. And poor thing, she pulls out uh, at the end this little thing I bought at the Dollar Tree <laughs> to hold all the markers and it was not really designed for that and markers were like flying across that's the stage. Like, that's great though. That's she just picked it up and went I with it. I love that. Things go bad. Yeah. Some of the best parts are when things oh, go bad. Oh, absolutely. And then if you have actors who... Look what she does. You're holding up her notes and she's pointing out all the different... Yeah. Co that's totally her. Like that was not in stage directions. Yeah, I, well, I think we spent so much time at the beginning because we didn't do any plays until the second semester. Right. So we spent so much time in class the first semester learning how to do this. Yes. L li literally learning how to not stand on stage. Mm -hmm. And because I think if we would have done this at the beginning, it would be she was sitting there and she would just hold it. Mm -hmm. But now, like, just the small things of like, we learn how to do that. We learn how when something goes bad, there's still an audience in front of you. Mm -hmm. And, and we, I think also something we learned was the importance that if a, if a scene goes bad, there's always the next scene, mm -hmm. and the you can get the audience back on your side. The audience is on your side. Yes, they, they want are. to like the play. Yes, they do. So and they, they did, will, they will they forget did. things. Yes, and they really did. They, they yeah. really enjoyed the play. Right? Maybe it's because it's all of our parents and they forgave things. But well, like you said, the sec this play, we've had a lot of students, and we got we good draw. reviews. We really did. I was very, very pleased. Yes, I think we had a, we had a very big student draw for this one. Mm -hmm. Like, it was actually... It was, I mean, there was obviously more more adults there than kids, but like, if for Grimm Brothers, if it was like 10% of the audience was kids, I'd say like 30% yeah. was kids this time. 
I love it. As much as we try to advertise, some of the students I see, you know, that I talk and I like see over the summer, like, hey, did you know we did a haunted house? No. Did you know we did two plays? No. So. We do the haunted house now. I think we're gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> I think I, I've learned a lot more skills. Yeah. So I'm going to make some like I'm gonna make posters. I'm gonna. We, I want to make that haunted haunted house huge because that has so much potential. It truly does. To make so much money. And we're gonna do it twice. I mean, two yeah. nights this year, so that'll help a lot. Yeah. And I'll come. I'll, I'll take money with you. Okay, perfect. I'll, I'll let you take money. <laughs> that was a tough job. Yeah. That, that line did not stop. It just did not stop. See, I thought this scene, even though we cut it, it really did, really did show all the diversity. We got, <laughs> I love it. You know, there's one kid who doesn't have any, any quiet time. Another kid who's like the only child and pressured. I, I liked what was said, but it was kind of boring. Too. Oh, look at Andre and his cute sweater. Oh, Love so sweater. sweet. Oh boy, they worked hard for this one. Oh yes, mm. this. Well, what's great about this one is that me and you didn't have to do anything. They right. just like Taylor. I think Taylor and Andrew were like, oh, we got it. They did. And, and we they like, wrote it too. That this is their whole thing. Like I had yeah. zero to do with this one. Yeah, we didn't do anything. It was like, hey, can we do the Hamilton scene now? Like we're at rehearsal. Like okay, let's do the Hamilton scene. Like okay, and they just they had it all. They did. It was great, which is good because what would we have told them anyway? <laughs> I don't well, know what to tell them. You're right. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that the drama teacher hasn't seen Hamilton, but oh, sorry. I haven't seen Hamilton either. And I really know very little about it. I have no intention of seeing Hamilton. Well, it, it if really anything, is. if anything, out of spite for Andrew, I'm not going to see. I'm not <laughs> going to see. It's Hamilton. phenomenal. Oh, we're good. Okay, he's going to kill himself. <laughs> I have to say, the little jackets added so much. That was a great touch. Yeah. Thanks, Miss Fernell. Absolutely. Chasing. I was so offended. Whenever I gave an interview and I called her Miss Fernell, they changed it to Chasing. That's not what I said. <laughs> It's Chesse. Chesse. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chesse. Is, is, is there a G in there? C-H-A-I. S-S-I-N-G. Yeah, there's an I. Okay, so, yeah. you know what? It's Chasings. But they have an S at the end. Oh, it's okay. Chasing. It's fine. It's a, that's right. <laughs> this actually got really good audience approval. There, there are certain moments where the audience really did go like, oh, maybe just because Andre and... I think Andre mm -hmm. and uh, Elise. Elise were the two stars of this scene, really. Right. And Julian was just there, like, this is cool. <laughs> extra, I yeah. like this scene. <laughs> I think, I, don't, I didn't see if Andre did it, but I know at some points where he'd be like, anyone want to be Jefferson? Andre actually did raise his hand. Oh, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> yeah, that was cute. But he was like, maybe pick, oh no, when she picked Taylor. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Was the music playing? I don't hear it. I don't think it's. Funny. I think we got rid of it because we, oh, yeah, we never could never. stay with it anyway. Yeah, and look, can you do it without the music? They're like, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had some former drama students, well, drama club members, that came and watched this, and they knew we wrote the play. And at first, they were looking at each other, going, "Did they write that?" And I'm like, "No, that's from Hamilton." Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, because <laughs> we do explain that very clearly, but we couldn't yeah. in couldn't include this in the published version either. Yeah, yeah, sadly, because it went very well. After this scene, I think we're gonna uh, pause it so we can. Start a new recording. Sounds good. So many great moments. I'm telling you. That we couldn't put in the published. Well, two well, great moments we couldn't put in the pub. Well, the song, the stuff that we added was yeah. great for us. It, it's just fun. Yeah. You know. Because this doesn't really, this doesn't fit in an other band. Yeah. But it's, fu it's fun to do. And they, lo they loved doing it. Yeah, and they were already good. good at it, so. Yeah. It, it was nothing. It was like, we, we, could, we could put it in because it didn't, it didn't hurt. Because we didn't have to take time out of our day to handle it. Mm -hmm. You're right. So it's like, why not? I know that um, Andrew really wanted to do... Do you remember Office Times? Andrew's idea for this, the musical Office Times? It's it's a, it's like... One line from it was... Um, You're fired. I'm not fired. You don't have that kind of authority. Remember that? It was kind of based on Hamilton? Or? No, no, no. It was, ba it was like... It was, it was a musical about the principal and the secretary... And it's and it's a it's a musical. All right, we're gonna pause, pause and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back and uh, we picked up right at uh, forty-seven minutes and forty-four seconds and let's just get started. So we are back to the first hour again. I want to say right back to this is the yeah. end of the Hamilton scene. Oh right, right. Uh, so first hour is coming back up. 
Oh, what point is this at? I don't remember. I don't remember what scene this is. This isn't. No, it's not sub scene yet. I used to have the scene numbers memorized. Oh, you did. You knew it better than I did. Yeah. I was amazed. Well, I remember because I remember like one time, like during rehearsal, like oh, which scene is that? Like oh, 28. <laughs> That's because I remember like I specifically remember that like another day another, another test was like 26, so then a whole um, whole tight was 28. Still, uh, well, you can hear that. So we had the mic, for the, or was he just yelling? I, I guess he had to have been on the mic. Okay, here she goes. Oh, this is the one we did the promo, I mean, the trailer for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wonder if people in the audience caught it. I think a couple did. When we sat in front of um, Peyton, when we sat in front of Peyton, I think, I think she pulled, she, was like, she oh, remembered it. Yeah. Oh, that's that scene. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the scene we did a trailer for, which I love that trailer that's so much. That's great. <sighs> Such an urgency behind it, too. I think the urgency of making it made the actual trailer urgent, mm -hmm. which made the whole thing. This felt there was a sense of there was a sense of urgency, which is always good. Right. I and saw that other one really sucked. No, I'm scared. Did it suck? <laughs> I heard you say, and Miss Bates also hated it. I didn't hate it. I just thought it was slow. I did. It was I still slow. Did. It was slow and on, on purpose. Clever. Right? It was just different. I don't know. I just You're didn't right. feel well, like we didn't it make would it with the capture the, You're right. the audience. I mean, I made it more for like myself. Yeah. What's really interesting is like when I make videos or podcasts, a lot of them I, I make for like my friends. I make them for me, and I know my friends will like them. Uh, this play and the trailers for this play are the only things I've ever made that I think was like, and I guess home homeroom too. Well, the only things I've ever made that were like, this is for this is for any this yeah. is for strange. I want to make this so strangers can watch it, and right. it, which is probably what the mindset I need to have for most of my stuff. But yeah. You just remember you're not trying to please everybody because that oh, will never no, be a no, thing. No, 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 that's not. So you just make it so that more than your friends would enjoy it. But yeah. As long as you like it, somebody like you yeah. will also like, like my, it. My, 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 my edit I made, The Gang Avengers, that's specifically for my friends to enjoy. Right. And oh. the podcasts are specific, kind of specifically for theater people to enjoy. But I'm trying to open it up a bit broader. With, I agree. with Dre's episode, I don't know if you did you listen to Dre? I did. I think that was a, a good first step in trying to yeah, broaden, broaden it, it until talk eventually about music. until eventually we get to a point where we can just make a podcast and people listen absolutely I, I said ooh just a minute ago because poor James went off stage I mean off camera but that's yeah. okay he was like not in the classroom anymore <laughs> maybe I'll run the, uh, maybe I'll try to run the no I'll, I'll, I'll you know what whoever in tech wants to run the camera I'll leave it to them mm -hmm. I'll sit in the front seat with you that's <laughs> in right front, in the front absolutely room. Oh, yeah. He does. He does sad pretty well, even though he doesn't really look the part. He does sad very well. Sad with the nice eyes. <laughs> yeah, sad with nice eyes. <laughs> okay. You know, my dad did say. My, I talked to my dad about it because my dad knows Dre. Yeah. And my dad, my dad said like, no, I disagree with you. I think he played the sad thing very well with the hood. I was like, the hood. You like the hood? He goes, yeah, it made him sad. I don't know. I always felt like maybe the hood was too much. Was too much. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you're trying too hard, but. Well, when not. he takes it off and changes completely to a different character or personality, mm -hmm. it, it, did ma it, it, it got the point across. Yeah. That was one of those two-second, like, oh, I want a class like that. It was all high school yeah, classes to be like that. <laughs> come in, fine. come out. Yep, done. It works on stage. Oh, um, it was fine. I mean, I'm not... not upset about it. Yeah. What's okay, what's I what's don't up? know. There's a very long pause here. Okay, here's Grace, her bubbly personality. Oh, this is it, Juan. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I just really wish that bench had been either more center or he would have gone around to the other side, one or the other. quite a few people who did not ever think they would be on stage and turned out to just be Cupid, phenomenal. Yeah. Cupid, Grace. Um, well, no, Grace had been in Jad fashion show and she... Oh, you mean on stage like ever? Well, I just mean she just has a stage personality. Yeah. I don't think it ever occurred to her that she would have any problem on stage. Oh, no, I don't but, think so. But she Juan, didn't want to direct, though. Yeah, she did a good job directing. But, but Juan, yes. I just feel like I, I, I don't ever want to step on stage ever. I can't do it. But oh, then when yeah. he got the taste of it, he just did so And he so did everything. Well. He did so well. I love it. And then the story about him going off the 
But he got the big laugh like, I did that. Like, yes, you yeah, did. You did. Yes, you yeah, did. You, yes, you did, <laughs> sweetie. You go. Oh. Now, this was written by Lauren. Yes. It's completely her idea. And we didn't change anything about it. We, I, 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 I streamlined you, it just a slight bit. Oh, just bit, a little bit? Okay. And then we, she I wanted live it. music, but it was just too much. Oh, so yeah. I, I changed you that tried. too. But I mean, I read from the beginning to the end of the scene, and I was like, this is good. I yeah. mean, I just, wow. I was really blown well, away by it. The only scene she wrote, too. Yeah. She did a really good job. And she told me an idea of one of the times we were filming Homeroom for another scene she has in mind. It just comes to her. I'll write it down. Yeah. I don't even remember what it's about now, but it sounded like something interesting. Oh, we have our special guest on his way to pop in. Special guest? Yes, special guest. Okay. <laughs> Surprise your drama teacher day. <laughs> well, you know. It's them who has to do it. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so good. Who, we wanted Colby, right? Colby was going to play this. Yeah, he actually was cast, and then yes. he got a job, and it conflicted. Well, his training conflicted with the days. And I said, well, when you took the job, did you not tell them you had a prior, <laughs> you know, yeah. commitment? And uh, he never answered me on that one. But that, <laughs> that happened. Nope. No? It's okay. It's worked out. I mean, I mean, it, it did all work out, but it... I it, do remember you specifically telling me you were like, Dave, I'm a little concerned, because I really think Colby was going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And then I think Juan turned out oh, to be Juan perfect. Oh, Juan did a fantastic... Well, see, Juan, though, had told me he didn't want to do anything more than he was doing. Yeah. And he finally decided, well, you know what? It's my last play as a senior. It's my last chance. Yeah. So I need to do more. And I'm like, yes! But you you know what? You remember Juan from the start of speech class, mm -hmm. even. Didn't want to stand up in didn't front of class at all. Didn't want to stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but he got to the point in that class where he would give a good rant. So we... We well, pulled him out a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Well, when, when speech class started and we had it together, he was like, oh, thank God you're in here because I didn't want to do this alone. <laughs> but little did he know, I was like, you know, I was fine. <laughs> I, think in, I think in his mind, because we had him in front since middle school, and middle school David was like, like Juan, like, I don't want to do anything. So I think in his mind, he was like, oh, yes, another person who's not going to do anything. And I'm like, mm -hmm. well, actually, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to talk way too much, actually. <laughs> Do you think you talked way too much in my speech yeah. class? I think not for you. I think you're the only person who was like, yeah, every time. I was like, yeah, I think everybody else got, probably got annoyed. I think everybody else was sick of it. I think they were over me is what it was. Okay. I don't think you ever got there. No. But I think everybody else in that class was like, Enough. yeah, we're over it, kid. Yeah. We get it. <laughs> we get it. You're good at speeches. Stop playing Daily Dent. We don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, my God. Cody did such a Dude. good job. So cute. His stage presence. I'm telling you. Here he goes. Oh. <laughs> such a such a study. <laughs> like this is so clueless. It's so hilarious. <laughs> He's so clueless. <laughs> really cute scene. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she must really like it. You must really like it. Oh, <laughs> now that Friday night we actually did the biggest reaction for that yeah. scene. People literally in the audience were going, oh, oh. When did Lauren time. actually play it? I don't. I think Lauren mm, played it on Sunday. Yeah, that was one time because I had that was one of those like I think every every mm -hmm. different. Uh, no, it must have been Saturday matinee because Lauren only did every time that I was Jonathan. Lauren was Candace, okay. so okay. it must have been Saturday matinee that she got to do it. Yeah. Okay, look at Joel listening. Okay, got it. Got to write yeah. it down real quick. Yeah, small <laughs> things. Yeah, and if you're paying attention, that's why it's worth rewatching the whole thing yeah, on the Dennis Spring Stage oh, YouTube no, channel. Oh no! Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Cora blew this one away. God. She did such a good. Whoa! Job. Sound just kicked in. Yeah, I, saw, I heard it. So the story here is that Cora is imitating one of our subs who's always here and normally actually fills in for a whole semester. It seems like every year they, yeah. they need her to fill in. So uh, her name is Miss Lanou. Very famous. And she uh, got to see the scene because I, I emailed it to her. And she was so touched that she came and donated $20 to the drama <laughs> department and has yeah. smiled at me like I'm the sweetest person on the earth every yeah. time I've seen her since. I it mean, was all Cora. We came up with, you came up with, I don't know who came up with the sub idea. 
but I remember you specifically said that you didn't want it to be like the Keen Peel sketch. And that, and it was one of those things where we were on in sync, and at the totally, same time, yes. we were like, yeah, like an old lady, like at the same time we thought about that. Well, I remember how it worked. I was sitting in front of the classroom, and you were talking about writing the scene. I said, well, we don't want yeah. it to be, and you said, well, I pictured an old lady with glasses. I'm like, oh, Lord. I said, yeah. that, my exact thought. That was <laughs> when I knew our brains were fused. Oh, and, e and every day for the next month. It Everything you same, said yeah. was something I thought. It, we literally, somehow through this writing, we our brains definitely intertwined. Fused into one. Absolutely. You became my second half, my other half. Do, 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 do. I love this scene. She did such a great job. Now, oh, yeah. I, I had some kids working with the, the names, and they, they could not find names that could be mispronounced. They just couldn't figure it out, so I did this. I, yeah, I, I went through the and I found the different In fact, names. we specifically named some of the characters right. for the scene, like we had to. James and... Alice. Alice, yeah, just mm -hmm. for the scene. But, and know. I like Alice because Go Ask Alice, you know, that book. I don't know if it's really no. dark or emotional, but I think it kind of is. Well, so Alice is a nice... That's, that, that just works. It for totally some, For some reason. It does. It, it does. And see, my husband's name is Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> Denial. I don't know. I just, well, I never have Daniel. My dad's name is Daniel, and right. he is a comic book nerd, actually. So he thinks that the entire character of Daniel is based off of him. And I'm like, actually, I didn't really come up with Daniel. He's like, mm -hmm, yeah, okay. But like during the play, every, every, whenever they pointed it out, everybody looked at him like, <laughs> oh, they knew. I wrote, I wrote this scene, but I really can't take credit for this scene. I don't take credit for writing this scene because. It was a collaboration. Well, it, it was. It was. I wrote stuff, and then Cora went up there and just said things that had nothing to do oh, with whatever on script. Oh, she definitely added a lot. Oh, she yeah. really did. Like, I, that was my line. Or was it? Who did the? He, he's in denial about his love life. I don't know who came up me. with that line. That was you. Okay. Yeah, and then the, the hair on the chin. Yeah, thing. we totally just talked over that. But the hair on—is that a hair on your chin? Yeah. Love it. Uh, now, is this the one where I had to pull out a clipboard all over the place? So no, because that, that was with me. That was Sunday. Whenever okay. I was on stage with Matthew as the principal, yes, that's when yes, he... Yes, yes, yes. That was so funny. Yeah. Oh. That's when, yeah, that's when it went all crazy. Um, here is your, your scene that totally changed because the oh, yeah. storyline changed. Jonathan was originally a poet. And, and like <laughs> an a, emo poet. A sensitive, yeah, like a sensitive, like, poet. Spoken word. Spoken word poet who was like a vegan and... and <laughs> And stuff like that. And we but, turned him into a bully. Yeah, a protester, <laughs> and we just made him a jerk. It works. And then they tried to make this work. He was like a loud. I tried to like change the whole game. Like, oh, he's like just a loud mouth. He was like a vegan, but he's like a loud. A loud mouth. And then I'm like, no, vegan. just he's just he's a bully, and he'll just go up here and he'll say it, and whatever. And right. it, it worked fine. It, it did. But this got cut from the uh, from the published. It, it had to. And it, this is a good scene. We cut it because it leads directly into the next scene, which we had to cut. Yes. Which is, this is my favorite scene in the whole play. So we um, have our kids lining up to do their detention scene. And we had Taylor, who plays Sharon, sneaking in with her hood over her face. Because yeah. she was the only one who could keep time with the music. Yeah. So she's back there singing with them to, to keep everybody on yeah, track. Yeah, it's fine. And another little fun side note. We had these shirts made because I just thought it would be fun visual. And, like, everybody in the school decided they wanted a detention shirt. Yeah. So. <laughs> then you got well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Everybody in drama. No I, no, I think everybody in the school decided they wanted one. But then once you're like, okay, I'll yeah. do it, they're like, oh. Yeah, no, then nobody ordered it. i got to pay money for that. All right. I but thought you would just give it to me for free. <laughs> when I asked if I could have one, I, I didn't know you meant, like, pay for it. <laughs> That's what happened. Exactly. That's what happened with my merch. When everyone like, make David People's TV merch, and then I make David People's TV merch, and then nobody buys nobody it. Nobody buys it. Except for my teacher, Miss Rodriguez. Thanks, oh. Miss Rodriguez. <laughs> Even I haven't bought a David <laughs> People's T-shirt. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> don't, because then I feel like I have. I kind of don't want you to, because I feel like eventually it's gonna be someone's gonna be like, hey, are you gonna like collect this money, and then I gotta like deal with all that. So, don't. Okay. Actually, buy my t-shirts. Everybody except me should buy a t-shirt. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll get you a t-shirt. I can't, actually, I don't have one. Anyway, back to the scene yes. that's playing right now. Uh, back to the scene. So this is, that was written by Taylor and Elise, and somebody else helped with it. I'm trying to Tara, remember. I think. I don't remember. Maybe who, not. Who? Tara, maybe? Yes, yes it was, because she asked me to put her name in the program and I had forgotten she helped with it. See, I, I totally forgot all the way around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love this scene. It is cute. So, now, so 
Jonathan, played by Cupid, came up with a lot of smart aleck stuff. Yeah. But, but the whole line with Willy Wonka, that was your line. That was all. That that was was, your okay, line. so here's what happened is, is we stayed after school one day. We were supposed to stay after school one day to work on this. But that's the day I had to, I had to, I couldn't. But Cupid did. So Cupid actually stayed after. And that's when y'all came up with the whole, it's not working, we need to have Cupid fill in. And this is like two days before the play. Right. It's like, oh, we need Cupid to fill in. Hey, can y'all all just improv the whole freaking scene? Oh, oh. Uh, sure. Yes. Okay. Yes, I can. But I find out. But then I find out about that on Friday. I perform Friday night. And I'm like, in, uh, what? <laughs> okay. So we're about to go on. I'm like, what can I? You have never practiced it. I practice the scene, but I practice the scene, but I practice it because uh, okay. So basically, all of the parts where Jonathan speaks, mm -hmm. originally those were just people were singing over that. People, there, were, there was singing there, but then they couldn't make that work, so it was silence, and it was Jonathan, you speak now. I never practiced it like that. I okay. just practiced it. I thought it you as, did. I thought you came up with the Willy Wonka line in a well, rehearsal. I one did. Day. No, no, I came up with it uh, Friday night. Wow. <laughs> in the middle of the stage, I was like, <laughs> so I just good. love watching Cupid. Like, no, you're not gonna think it. No, okay, yeah, stop, it six, stop. <laughs> well, I, I, we, the only time I, I only rehearsed it one time you know, before the, it was before the Friday performance. I rehearsed it. And I talked way too much. I, I do remember that. Because See, they, there was a time that you did rehearse. Well, I did, yeah. I, yeah, fine. But I found what I find. I find out about it at the rehearsal right before the performance. Right, that you I didn't have, to have do any it. time to. So then I rehearse it, and everyone said talk. Mm -hmm. And they're like, "We really need you to fill all this time." Because what happened? I think we've heard it twice. The first time I did it, I didn't talk enough, and they were like, "We need you to say more." And then the second time, I did it way too much, and they're like, "Okay." chill out and <laughs> so then, you had to find your perfect um, and then Friday night balance. yeah Friday night I was like okay, what's the in front of a live audience yeah because I wanted this to be like cause the, but I, had, I was like rambling on because I was I felt like so pressured because it was like hey we performed this tonight can you just fill in so I was like rambling and then they, I was like okay just chill out and just be natural yeah. and then she walked in front of me I was like you look like a reject Willy Wonka and it was the funniest thing I've ever said <laughs> it's the best joke I've ever made <laughs> we have a special guest with us now guys um a, a star of the play, actually. Yes, yes. Uh, they can hear you. They can hear you from back there. It's a good mic. I just say hi. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is the mighty patriotic fellow. Wow. Yes, you can grab a chair, sir. Uh, if you sit right there, they'll, 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 be, they'll be able to hear you. Yeah. They'll be able to hear you. It's a very high quality mic I have here. How you doing, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Pelican? Uh, yeah, what Patriots. is the correct way to address you? Yeah, what would you, uh, uh, I prefer Mighty Patriotic like Pelican, the mighty Defender might, of Freedom. Mr. Mighty <laughs> Defender of Freedom. MMPP? That's a little much, okay. uh, Pelican. Okay, uh, I have to My ask. friends call me Pelican, but, uh. So you were going to open the black desk and you decided not so much, or? Well, black is the color of darkness and evil. And that's what you're wearing, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> no, he's not. He's in his full costume. <laughs> Caca! <-caw, I'm> <laughs> Selves to blame. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> We're just recording a comment. You can't hear it, but you 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 wrote a lot of this, uh, yeah. Mr. Pelican, actually. Yeah, uh, Seth did a lot of the writing. If you're more comfortable, you can sit right there, sir. Like, can they hear me? Oh yes, oh yes. That'd probably be better, actually. <laughs> you're the only one talking. <laughs> <laughs> you can move move it up. Yeah, get that close as close to the desk as you can. This is intermission after this scene, or not? Yeah. You see, no. No, there's a whole. Oh no, the Christmas. There's Christmas. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, it's Christmas. Long, long, long scene worked fine though. It really did. It just. It, it, because everybody needs to get a gift. Because when we yeah. originally wrote it, it was like, oh, a couple people get a gift. I'm like, that doesn't make sense no, though. We gotta right. do it all. So we had to jump in. Uh, you can't hear this, but can you see it? Yeah. You know what's going on. And you, Mr. Pelican, wrote an awful lot of the play along with me and Ms. Van mm -hmm. so he knows what's going on. I yes. do. And also you were at every, every, every rehearsal. Performance. Every rehearsal, every performance, so I'm sure you know everybody's lines. A hero's work is never done. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And Candace jumping up and down as Candace. So cute. Yeah, this is where, this, this, is, this is the scene I think about where I determine that Lauren's Candace is a bad person and Candace's Candace is a good person. Just an airhead. Yeah, just an airhead. Is this, is this whole scene. <laughs> yeah, and because in my head, I don't know if you've listened. One second. Oh, do you remember when we rehearsed this and we actually put tape? I don't know if it was. It was on Eden, I think, and not. 
but are you going to put tape on me uh, in the performance? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we changed that. I tried it. I think it would have been funny, but it, it, it just didn't have, work. It might not have worked. There's like a 50 50 chance that if I put tape on her face, it would have worked. If it would have worked, it would have been funny. But it, it Maybe just, even if it wouldn't have worked, it would have been well, but we didn't want to take that risk. No. I don't want to. I didn't want to hurt her. It was, right. Uh, I, that's actually, true. it was Eden. Was it Eden or was it Dad? I think said it was that? Eden, but I don't remember. One, of, I remember one of them specifically was like, "Yeah, do it." Oh, okay. And it was like, "Whoa, okay, you're a little, you're a little too, in, you're a little too enthusiastic about this." <laughs> no, they to explore that particular line of reasoning. Where let's just next. Here we go. Oh, she was excited about her black nail polish. Oh, here we go. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, Stephanie. Uh, giving you your little. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I, that was the sweatiest scene of the entire <laughs> place. Oh, so you got a like, hat and, right, and like, overall you're I was clothes. drenched. After Were you I, wearing the jacket too still? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh-uh. Lord have mercy. Dean talked about that too, about how many layers of clothes he had to wear. It was, uh, that first night, uh, was actually, it was some crazy timing because it was the first time we had it all on stage and I just mm -hmm. remember one of the times I got stuck backstage and I actually missed an entrance so I was like how am I gonna figure out how to come in at the perfect time so they all end up having to like walk over and I just kind of ghost in I don't even think <laughs> it was just a homeroom scene you had to walk in into but, a homeroom scene you had to walk mm -hmm. into <laughs> so like, yeah and Luke's kind of a quiet character so it worked it out worked. so did you come in like from the back instead of the side is that what you mm -hmm. mean yeah well Jessica did that when she was working backstage oh, really? she would just kind of appear and then she mm -hmm. would disappear <laughs> it worked good for your character though because there are a couple times where you're supposed well there's one time where you you're supposed to enter late so if you ever do it's fine right it's not a big deal Coming in, pulling off the bandana, you know. Yeah. yeah. There was something I was gonna say, and I lost my train of thought. About, about the different clothes. That's what different we clothes. Uh, okay, Friday. Okay, so you had trouble. You missed an entrance because, and you said Friday night was the first time we ever had it on stage. Mm -hmm. Friday night performance was the first time we ever did a full run through of this play. Right. Uh, every rehearsal before we net, because it's so long, it's uh -huh. three hours. We never had a chance. Well, we probably did have a chance, but we just never. We never got through. We it never all. got through at all. We never were able to run through the whole play back to back, and it got to a point where we knew we couldn't do it. So we were like, "Oh, just skip it. We gotta go to the more important scenes." So Friday night was the first time I did it. This play should have failed. <laughs> yeah, it that's what he worked. always says. Yeah. There are so many reasons this play should have failed. But it's in the letter to our publisher. It is <laughs> to our publisher. Yeah. Yeah. We're saying it's a awesome. published play. We're saying. That, that makes me really oh, honored. Text, Hopefully text play. my husband. Say, hey, did you check the mail yet? Seriously, I'm gonna do that. Real. What is the uh, what does real on your shirt stand for? Uh, it actually I got it from this uh, fellow named Nico. He was okay. throwing shirts at this oh. conference. And okay. I don't remember exactly, but I, I know this the first fellow. the first letter R means raw. This is some kind of letter. Or some yes, kind of that is true. E. It is the letter E. It is letter attentive e. and then love. It's some kind of Christian okay. word. Um, yeah. It's amazing that it just completely Eagle. fits you like perfect. Eagle. You just caught it. Yeah. It's Extravagant. Happy. Anyway, the play. Yes, the play. Back to the play. <laughs> this Candace <laughs> speaks. Jump, jumping up and down. It was jogging up and down, actually. I love how Lauren does it, though. Like, Lauren's just like, here you go. Here, have <laughs> some highlighters. Yeah. Whatever. Because there's a debate between me and Dean, uh, Seth, about uh, whether or not Daniel breaks up with Candace later. I think he does. He thinks she doesn't. And what we've determined is that uh, Candace's version of Candace... Uh, Daniel does not break up with her because she's actually sweet. But Lauren's version of Candace is an actual bad person. Right, I agree. And this is the, this is the scene that really defines that because Lauren is just a jerk to everybody and forgets forgets Jessica's name and stuff, mm -hmm. while Candace actually uh, Candace is actually sweet and like oh, look at your highlighters. You know that would be something interesting. The factor in the spinoff. Oh, oh! <laughs> well, you we'll have them together in the spinoff. We'll right? talk more about I, that later. I do. And I, I have to say, I've been listening to y'all be all guarded about the content <laughs> of the plays. I don't think that's a big deal. I don't think it. We, we can talk about what we're writing. I think it makes people interested in coming to see it. I mean, that's yeah, how I I'm see it. I'm just trying to be careful because we don't know. We don't really know. We don't know a whole lot ourselves yet. But that's the thing. It's a process, and so right. we talk about the process. I, no, I, I guess so. It's like Shakespeare. Shakespeare told me into his plays before. But it's not even that as much as this is a creative discussion. Yeah. And so people listen to us being creative and hear the ideas we have and see. Right, we're all writing comes a play together. about a camp. <laughs> <We> are, <laughs> and then yeah, we're writing. They were like a, mad about that. 
It's about a campfire. Yeah, uh, Dean was like, oh, you were, you could have said fire. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> and then and he Seth's writing. two different camps in And then it. Seth's Ooh. writing a play about the patriotic pelican. Yep. A pelican story. It's the spinoff. It's a good spinoff. Oh, I like the this idea. Moment. Oh, look at that uh, beautiful comic book. First appearance of Superman. It's not real, though. Uh, I yeah, I asked you that. You are like, if I really had that, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, that beanie looks as... <laughs> this stands out. You can see it from the back. Well, this that's was good. You can that's never exactly see what I. Uh, this is the moment you did it, but that's that is the scene where. So whenever I did it, it was Sunday. Oh lord. It was Sunday. Um, so the line is, I say, who really reads comic books anyway? And then Seth, who was a comic book nerd, oh, Luke, Luke stands up and he says, Hey, I read comic books. So I. I'm doing the line, and I play Jonathan. The, the, line, the, the one that Cupid's playing, I actually play Jonathan uh, on different nights. And uh, the last line before it, I say is like, "Oh, uh, thanks," or I said like, um, "I say something." Basically, I don't say the line, "Who reads comic books anyway?" So I'm just talking, and I'm saying like, "Oh," I say like, I say I think, "Oh, I remember my dad used to buy me these," and then he go, and then Seth just stands up and goes, "Hey." <laughs> I like comic books. I'm like, okay. That was, uh, that was a dark it. moment for me. Well, I, I laugh so hard now because when you told the story in third hour, I cracked up like to the point of tears. I, I laughed so hard. And then you brought it up in fourth hour, and I'm trying to tell fourth hour, and I'm cracked up again. Like, I have these hysterical moments occasionally, and that was definitely one oh, of them. Man. It was I, just so funny listening to y'all talk about it. I, yeah. just, I just remember that part, like that particular scene dragging on and on and on. I knew I had a line. I'm like, David's talking, this is it. I didn't even really pay attention. <laughs> they are going to notice me today. <laughs> we're, at a, we're, at, we're after intermission. Jasmine's walking in with her flyers. Oh, okay. You don't think we should have paused at intermission? No, I guess not. How, how much longer do we have? We have about 30 more minutes oh, okay. of this recording. Right. Then we'll take another pause. How far? God, such a long play. It really is. Long. So is this, oh, this is Saturday night? Yeah. yeah. I figured that's the... Pro, I think that was probably our best yeah, one. Yeah, I, I think so, It was so Saturday too. nights. This is the one that I uploaded to, to YouTube. Um, I'll eventually upload the other ones. But for this particular thing, I figured we could commentate right. over this. So here is our Troy Bolton moment, and oh, yeah. our Abram, who looks like Troy Bolton, talking about how he's an athlete, but he would like to be in a play, but no, never mind. I For the Battle for the Gym scene, the original Battle for the Gym was actually, and Ms. Van Oss had to calm me down, because I pretty much wrote the, the, the plot to High School Musical. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Van Oss was like, David, that's literally the plot to High School Musical. <laughs> you can't do that. Because the original ba Battle for the Gym was... James runs into the rehearsal and was like, hey guys, am I late? And then the basketball players show up and are like, oh. hey, what are you doing, James? And James is like, oh, just making fun of these nerds. So it's literally uh, high school uh, musical. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so, Ms. Vanos had to calm me down. And then she's like, oh, we're not really going to do it. We, Battle for the Gym doesn't fit. And I was like, no. And then like a week before we're done, I'm like, we can do this. I found a good spot for you. <laughs> I was very passionate. Oh, I love this. He's oh, like jumping down, down to Tyler's shoes. Hurts his so, knees. Oh, poor baby. Probably break his freaking knees. And that's the end. That seems like, okay, well, let's find the end. Um, I don't know what just happened. That was probably, that's probably one of the parts where Bell was supposed to ring. Yeah. Look, they're bumping all into each other. Yeah. Like, are they getting we, up now? We ever did situate the bell. No, we didn't. Nope. We just gave it up. I specifically remember, though, like, okay, so while, while I was on stage... I could tell that people were, um, people, because they knew that I knew what was going on. They knew that I knew what was going on. You're good, Dean. Come on in, Dean. Dean just joined us. You can grab a chair. Hey, and, Dean. Uh, here, maybe. You can you scoot over? Both to both scoot over. Yeah, and then Dean, okay. slide in right there. That'd be a good spot for you. Can you scoot more? Can I chair rolls, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Dean's here now. Here, can you pull that one around? Yeah. So I, 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 because people knew that I knew what was going on at all times, because I had been so involved in it, I could tell people were looking to me of like... Do we leave now? What happened? Yeah. yeah. So I remember, I was very often, I was the first one to stand up, and I'm like... Yes, this, 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 Here we go. Here we go. Leading like the I path. could tell all the eyes were on me. You know, like when something would screw up, or someone wasn't talking, people would be like, is this supposed to happen? Wait, it's it's fine. fine. It's going to be fine. What hmm. is going on? Uh, bad camera work is what's going on because <laughs> there's a scene going on stage on stage yeah. left and uh, what scene is this? Uh, what, what's oh okay happening? oh it's the F yeah the yeah. jump really high that's your scene is this uh, the night you missed it did you miss it Saturday night 
you remember? Um, I actually missed the scene after this. He missed Battle for the Gym. Yes. Yeah. Which I think in the published version, we actually flipped them. I think that's why you're confused right now. Because here's what's happening right What's happening right now, and that the audience, that, that the viewers can't see because the camera was not turned to get it, is on the other side of the stage, there is a scene where they talk about, um, it's the scene uh, where they debate the, the uh, what is a sport. What is, what is a sport? sport? That's, that's the scene. The what is the sport? Yeah. As they debate what is a sport. Oh, that's the name of the scene. What is a sport? And uh, the scene after that is Battle for the Gym. But and, we had to switch yeah. it because of an entrance. I don't remember who. Yeah, I think it's like somebody. because of all, because of other scenes that got switched. We had yeah. the we had to switch Battle for the Gym and and what this sport and, and this one. So that way, after what is a sport, it can lead into a next thing. I don't know. I don't remember. But we cut the uh, flag thing. Yeah, I think yeah, we cut. We, we cut, I didn't remember if we cut it entirely. No, we, we did. did. We left it. No, we, left we it. did. Uh, or for published, we did leave it in here. Oh, I sent with that Gavin to both y'all. Did y'all get it? The the script. I, I fell asleep. Did you email really? Me? I did it today. Oh, you said you said in the published version of it. Because yeah, the, the published never show version. We keep saying these words. The, the published. Well, it's hopefully gonna be we published. Are, we are sending. Then this you gotta see the one act. The one act is completely new play that we just yeah, wrote. Yeah, for is, but it was based on it. In that oh, Mohe does his little leg. Yeah. Poor thing. <laughs> we had to change our character to a girl just yeah. to fit the. Uh, well, we did it just so we could fit the uh, the suggested cast that we had. Right. That we that we sent in with it. Um, yeah, we got stage left scenes down to like five boys and five girls. I was yeah, pretty yeah. impressed with us. Three, it was three. <laughs> it was three? Three boys, oh, three girls, okay. yeah. We did good. Oh, and here's this part. Uh, we made a joke on, on the Home and Radio podcast about how she learned the entire sport. <laughs> just just to do this one monologue. The entire, well, the joke is that like she did a couple of flips. Like, well, that's all you need to know to be in color guard. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. Actually, they, they work hard. I will speak, speak for band nerds everywhere. Dean feels very passionately about this whole monologue. No, I, I heard. You can I see heard. that on Homeroom Home Room Radio Podcast Episode yeah. 2. Guest Actually, starring you Andre keep Clark. saying C in film. That's not correct oh, for the podcast. Sorry. You can hear you can and record. Hear but yeah. <laughs> they sorry. see us. We bring it to life so much they see it. You get the idea. Yes. This is the monologue you have a problem with because this is the one you're talking about. Okay, so you said you, you said... There are monologues that push agendas. And there are a couple monologues in here, and we were talking about earlier, um, like, oh, that pushes an agenda. That's not the one Dean was talking about. I knew no, which one he was talking it's about. The only one. But I, didn't, I don't see agenda what anywhere ones? except here. And I don't mind the agenda. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple. Like, the, there's the one in the beginning with Michaela talking about band. But that, to me, that's character development. That's, that's, yeah. that's character development. But that is a monologue that pushes a character's agenda. Uh, I don't know. I think Dean just doesn't like this scene. <laughs> It's not a bad scene. It's a very well written monologue. I couldn't remember. Oh yeah, in this part. Okay, Dean. That was really hard. Now I love that because <laughs> Dean, you pretty much wrote this scene or rewrote it after it was written. And I wrote when, it and then Dean rewrote, rewrote it because he it, it wasn't when, good. When enough. Jason acted it, he totally just added that on his own. I was like, yes. And I remember when I told yeah. you, you were like, I can't believe I didn't think of that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Well, because I thought, because I thought the scene was very funny. And then you have uh, Gavin's monologue. Gavin's the guy who wrote that color, whole color card thing. You have Gavin's monologue, and it goes from very funny to very serious. And that's where it's like, oh, you're just pushing an agenda. That's where it probably comes mm -hmm. from. Yeah. And I was like, I, didn't, I, didn't, I liked the monologue, but I didn't like how it went from very funny to very serious. And it's almost walking away like, yeah, I liked when he came back in and like made it a joke. And it's like, this scene is not that serious. Oh, I'm out of the gym. Yeah, it, it was good. Really fair. Love this scene. I'm so proud. <laughs> Never been more proud of it. And they added so much to it. Just yeah. a little it's, it's, well, this is what I imagined happening, and I'm so happy they... They just pulled it off. Yeah, they did it. When I did this scene, I kept... The one time I did this scene, I kept, like, dribbling the ball. <laughs> but, you know, since the ball was flat, it just kept... Oh. Like, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous that I had to search the whole world for a basketball? We were in a basketball in a gym. gym. We were in a basketball gym. I know. There were basketballs there. Were we not allowed to touch them? I think so. I think what happened is yeah. you were like you didn't want to mess with anybody. You stuff. didn't want to mess with anybody's yeah. stuff. So Katie Mack brought me this yeah. basketball to use. Shout out to Katie Mack. Katie Mack, blue yeah. they are. Yeah, <laughs> so that's some blue. And, and and this is another thing I was all impressed about. Y'all all got together and did the, the little uniforms. I thought that was a really nice touch. It yeah. really was. I mean, I've, I would have been totally fine with them wearing just whatever clothes mm -hmm. they had. But they went and not only did it, but got the little emblem on the shirt and everything. I thought, yeah. It's a very nice oh. emblem. What I love about the scene is that it really breaks. So, like, we have such a diverse, diverse uh, scene list. Like, mm -hmm. so many. Like, this is it just break. It's so different from everything else that happens. Mm -hmm. And it breaks it up so nicely. And even just wearing the blue shirts, it breaks everything up. It does. And it's refreshing. 
It's and aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> yeah, very, yeah, it's not actually, yeah, yeah. I think it's a very well staged. Well, they come in on. The comments that were made were that it really did show like all the different aspects of high school, and I'm, I'm proud of that, but I don't know if I told it in class. I think I did. The, the older man walking back up with me at intermission, he's like, you know, yeah. yes. I yeah. went to high school 30 plus years ago and I knew every one of those kids. Yeah. So we, we hit a universal chord, you know? Yeah. I love that. I love the stage. Uh, my God dang it. I told, I don't know if I left it in the theater banquet video, but when I uh, approached Jasmine, her name's not Jasmine, Amber. her name's Amber, but I always call her Jasmine. <laughs> when I approached Amber, I hugged her and said, thank you so much for bringing my favorite scene to life. Because I was very, emo it was a very emotional time for me. That was emotion for this whole thing. We had a lot of emotion and drama this year. We really yeah. did. Hmm. How about that? Did you have a lot <laughs> of emotion and drama? Well, I only have one emotion. Mad at me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that emotion. <laughs> <laughs> we we cut didn't keep this one. Yeah, we didn't keep this scene. This one was confusing to our audience because they didn't see the tie-in. Like, they were just characters who were not in the first hour group okay. and... I'm going to be honest, it was confusing to me, and I knew what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I threw in that line at the end of Battle for the Gym, uh, we have dates. So that's that's the that's all we got, though. I was like, we got yeah. dates, so we got to I mean, go. I just thought that it wasn't, like, connected to anything, but right. it was just a guy bringing a date to a football game. Yeah. But, but I mean, she was supposed to be just really stupid about sports. That was the tie-in. Yeah, no. But it just, it never tied in. I guess, didn't. in hindsight, we should have had the person in that scene in the Battle for the Gym. Right, but you remember how casting went, though. Right. I mean, casting was just like this constant juggling yes. act. Yeah, that would. But just like when uh, uh, Jason did the thing about, oh, I'm over Candace now. Oh, yeah, he yeah. tied it in like that. Made it yeah. nice, nice and easy. It was so unnecessary, but I mean, it worked. I mean, really, if we we just didn't have enough time. No, correct. Could. The fact that we got it up here in the way yeah. it was was yeah. true. If we would have had it casted for months, then for a mm -hmm. month we could have re rewritten yes. dialogue yes. to make all the characters. Well, that after you played we wrote it person. in a month. Yeah. I mean, I, I still. Yeah, that's I, still I, crazy. It is. I can't believe that we did that. And it doesn't suck. I it remember does. the energy I got when I heard that we were writing this play. I'm like, we're writing a play that's going to be on stage. Like, let me, let me yeah. grab my pencil. Because well, you're one I'm of the so people glad. who jumped in, yeah. Because uh, quite a few people had the complete opposite reaction. Like, I had <laughs> yeah. several people in class going, I don't know if I even want to do this play. I don't know what to think about it. But then in the end, it turned out great because yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Van Oss, okay, I got this. I was never skeptical about, about writing a play, and I was never skeptical. Skeptical. <laughs> I was never. I never had any problems writing a play. But high school, I don't, the only time I ever had problems was when it got kind of serious. When Dre talked yeah, that's about true. it, that's true. He, he was very hesitant. I was about very that scene. hesitant about. And we'll talk more about another statistic in a, you know, when it comes up in a minute. But just, just <laughs> here we go. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, this, man. This was my personal I remember, I remember right before this scene, when we did it the night I performed it, Nevaeh was, this right before this scene, Nevaeh was in the back looking over his lines, and he, he looked a little nervous. In hindsight, he wasn't because of what he said next, but I'm like, hey, man, you, you got this? And he goes, what the hell you think? <laughs> <laughs> of course I got this. <laughs> and he got it. He got it. Hey, more Shakespeare? Nod to the bar? Yes. I loved because we had these characters um, written before we thought of Jason and Nevaeh, mm -hmm. and then we were talking about who's going to play what, and I think you you were like, oh, Jason and Nevaeh are going to do that, and it was the most that, that was perfect perfect, perfect yeah. thing was perfect. in the world. Absolutely. I think most of that, like most of our decisions after the first play, was just. How can we get Jason in the band? <laughs> <laughs> can we have to do them right. dancing again? We must find a way. And yeah, and then we were like, there were a couple moments that were like, oh, I don't know how we're going to get them off stage. But it's like, they can dance. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, dance sure. Yeah. Okay. They're good at it, too. Which I think in the, in the, in the, in the maybe will be published version. Um, no, say it. In the published no, version okay. of the play. <laughs> uh, did we keep in that they dance, or did we just say they fight? We kept it. That they dance. So hopefully, whoever picks up this play has people who can dance. If I have, not, then they I can have play. another thing to bring up. Y'all remember at rehearsal when they did one of those scenes in the vase? Like, you're gonna choose. Uh, oh, my, my mind Me is totally teriyaki. Right. Teriyaki. Yeah. And yeah. The entire. I mean, we were just at the end of our rope. I think yeah. we laughed for 15 amazing. minutes. I was concerned because that's racist. <laughs> it was so. And I was like, funny. Are we sure we're gonna do that? And then Jason called him Eminem. Yeah. Or, no, it wasn't. No. no it was, called him up. Reese's, uh, Reese, it was Reese's Pieces. Reese's 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 yeah. Me or Reese's Pieces? I thought, he said, Reese's pieces or I thought he said overgrown avocado. 
Oh yeah, yeah, he, he said, did that too. He said several different things. Several, did they ever say that <laughs> on stage? I think they yeah. cut a lot. They said it in performance. They did. They said it during performances because I was sitting there, and I'm like, there are a couple moments, and and Zoe will tell you that there are a couple moments where I'm like watching something and I'm having a panic attack because I don't know how the audience is going to react to it. That was one of those moments. Yeah. Uh, the other moment is uh, when I held Zoe's hand because I was about to cry because Dre was about to kill himself. <laughs> I was like, oh God. I remember that. Yeah, and we'll talk, we'll talk about, Ms. Vanos just said I was very skeptical about serious scenes and we'll bring, we'll bring that up when we get to another statistic. Oh, this is Oh, good. here we go. we got to watch. This is where Michael has his famous line. Y'all can't hear it, but y'all know. You know, yes. I've actually never heard him deliver this line because I was in the back. Okay, you can take the whole head. <laughs> I heard it like once or twice. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Even just watching him do the motion. <laughs> Matthew said they could hardly keep it, keep from breaking on stage because they had no idea they had never rehearsed with him. Yeah. Who played that part when it wasn't Michael? I can't remember. Neil? It was Neil, it was I'm pretty Neil. sure, yeah. <laughs> Not particularly good for job. Yeah, we have many racist things, but it's okay because it comes from. Yeah, right. from a, This is a how high school works. Well, you know, we are trying to show the real deal here. I was concerned about the whole tearing off you thing. I remember, because I remember when they did it in rehearsal, and I was sitting next to you, we were directing, and I was like, I looked over at you, and we we're dying laughing, but I was like, Miss Vanos, that's racist. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> we can't do that. So funny. <laughs> You know what I noticed? It may be it may be racist to some people because both of the racist times were like Asians. Yeah, but so. it's Asians. <laughs> it's Asians. Fair point. Fair point. Yeah. They're they're Jason. If Jason had a problem with it, he wouldn't have let us do it. Exactly. He wouldn't have let Nevaeh do that. Do that. And what are they gonna do? Be like, oh, that was so racist. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry that the Asian on stage offended you for making an Asian By joke. By offending <laughs> Right. Already. Right. That was just two guys playing around, and to me, yeah. that's how it came across. Not, yeah. not at all. It was so obvious they were their best friends. Yeah. I think everybody knew. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, hi guys. How's it going? <laughs> oh, hey, uh, Dean. Yeah, it's great. Dean, great. Dean and Seth. This is not. This is not going to be an episode of the Home Run Radio podcast. This is actually going to go on Demos Creek's Theater. Oh, cool. But. Plug in. If you guys go to David People's <laughs> TV, you can check out the Home Run Radio podcast. I'm about to record with, with these guys. That's going to be a doozy. A doozy. Hey, didn't Michael say that he would be able to come? <laughs> no, we can't no. talk about Michael. <laughs> Michael doesn't. I don't know. Maybe. No, yeah, maybe he, he can would, come. Um, Halfway through the podcast, he'll be like, hey, guys, I can come. It's like, well, it's a little late now. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> he was like, I'm coming home today. Why aren't you going to be home in time uh, yeah. for, the, for the recording? He was like, I don't know. And so he hasn't said anything. You know what's funny? This scene is so pointless that we can talk about random stuff over oh, the top of it. Oh, you are so mean. I oh. thought that was good talking about jobs. Hey, a lot of kids. Two different colors. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean. I'm sorry. Just, like, I love those jeans. Okay. See, you saw yeah. these stuff. It looks like, like she wet herself. Yeah, <laughs> it's the perfect oh. way. Oh. In the perfect way. Yeah. <laughs> that is so <laughs> unnecessary, Dean. What's wrong with that? Unnecessarily <laughs> correct. <laughs> you said the... You said the word bitch earlier. I mean, the comment. The, those are cute clothes. No, they're cute clothes. They are cute. I guess I'd like wear them. I mean, she looks like I, a cool hippie girl. I'm just stating, like, what I see. You know? That is fine. You can state and what you see. I, I will say that this play gets you ready for real life events because I had to wear spandex today. I dressed up as Spider Man at a kid's uh -huh. birthday party. Oh, that's, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> Was it a kid you knew? No. Oh, did you get this so hired? Get paid How now to I dress did. as a superhero? I did this get just paid. through a company? Oh, no, it was, uh, well, actually what happened was I worked with this organization called SADS, oh. Against Destructive <laughs> Decisions, and uh, while we were filming this PSA, uh, Miss Elise LeBlanc, she actually used to teach here, uh, said, do you like superheroes? And I said, do I like superheroes? <laughs> I, am I am a superhero, <laughs> if, excuse me. I, and then she's like... Excuse me? I'm like, I am the mighty patriotic fellow. Check, Check out our play. Check out our play. High exactly. school under the day under the test. And then she goes, oh, but I mean like real superheroes. Like, I, I got mean, mild, yeah. I got <laughs> mildly Whoa. sad for the chest. And then Roundhouse Whoa. kicked her in the <laughs> Jesus. I was like, yeah, sure. I, know, I, I know all about them. She's like, what about Spider-Man? I'm like, Spider-Man? Spider-Man? I'm like, I know everything about Spider-Man. I watched a TV show as a kid. I'm like, she's like, oh, great. Uh, do you want to dress up 
at my grandson's party uh, a month from now? I'm like, yes. Yes, yes, you, yes I do. <laughs> Peter Parker guy, actually. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, I do have to say, people have asked about drama department doing that. Really? You know, sending people dressed as the princesses and the superheroes to parties. It's a thought. It is. It's hey, a, I tell you what, it pays good, too. Hansel I got paid quadruple what I do at parts. So. Well, there you go. Yeah. Me, Hansel, How much Hansel money and Gretel exactly doing like a, like, a, like a comedy act together. Absolutely. It's hilarious. Absolutely. All right, so I do take your point about the thing on stage. We're not even talking about it. That's why we cut these. They, they did drag. They really did. I noticed that. What are they talking about right now? Exactly. I would remember, um, but I don't. <laughs> um, they were talking about homework that they didn't do, and there was one about jobs. And I mean, it really is real life stuff. But it was. I just, think we just tried just, to cram too much. Yeah, in. we did. We really. It's really the real did. life stuff that nobody wants to remember. Well, I mean, that's why we trimmed it. We took everything we did and just kept, you know. And, and we cut some stuff that I thought was decent, but we cut the, yeah. we cut what we had to. At the end of the day, it's just about keeping the audience. Yeah, sure. Well, do you and think that the ver version that's going to be published is better than this? I do. You do think so? Okay. I mean, it's got to be. It's well, like the it's like the you know hindsight's twenty twenty. Well, but you condense like it's just the purification process. You know, you well, start with yeah. everything and you just boil. A lot down. of the stuff we cut, we didn't cut because it was bad. We cut because we needed it to be shorter. And first, we did cut everything that was bad. Oh, and that then, dragged. Oh, that dra was nothing true. was bad, yeah. but things that dragged. Yeah. And that didn't work. And then it's like, okay, well, it's still like two hours and fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. So let's start. Okay, we'll cut the we'll cut the bullying scene. Yeah. Which was good, but we'll we'll cut that. Right. Exactly. So it's like, do we? Yeah. This is what we keep seeing. Taylor, Taylor wrote this one. School, huh? yeah. Taylor wrote this one. Taylor wrote a think? lot more than right. Not really. Yeah, she yeah, wrote yeah. a bunch. She wrote a bunch. She was up there with me. Me and you. She was not, the third. Not up there. She was yeah, the third. She yeah. was in third place. You and I put it together. That's why your name's yeah. on it. It was third place. And then, uh, well, Seth, and then Seth, a lot. Seth was... Yeah, you wrote, you wrote a lot. Seth wrote a whole lot. I used to have a tally. I used to have a tally. Yeah, it's, he, not a it it's not a competition. It's not a competition. But I win. Well, right. I'm <laughs> no kidding. Oh, Ms. Vanoss wins. Did you go home and write all that down somewhere? I did. Ms. Vanoss wins. I'm actually... Tonight... I, st I started on it again today gonna try to get all of that knocked out tonight Good. and then by next week I should start on act two okay. we're talking about a, pa a pelican story yes uh, so the sequel to what we're watching yes. can I shine some light on that or well let's just this see what we're funny. doing oh yeah this I love how he totally funny. interrupts us this is how it's written but he does yeah. it so well maybe we can come back to that mm -hmm. hey Sharon I like this part Sharon it's just his voice you know like <laughs> He sounds like a radio announcer. Yeah, he really does. At the beginning of the of the beginning of the play, this was the one time that the mic worked at the beginning, and it's so good. Good morning. <laughs> he, he he truly it sounds like a DJ. Smooth, yeah, very smooth. smooth. It made me upset when the first time he did it, it didn't work. I was like, man, this is so it sounds yeah. so good. We, but and we hear him, but we know mm -hmm. nobody else can because he doesn't know the mic's not working. Right. So he's just talking to the mic. He doesn't know it's not working. So how's he supposed to know to start? screaming it like that one time when i was supposed to be saying my thing is the frog prince behind the um big uh, right upon yeah. Time. yeah oh this is the, 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 the grim brothers the yeah right right i don't know i never i never saw y'all's performance of uh, the grim brothers play because i had to work during those but i'm sure they were great they were <laughs> i'm sure they were great i i thought grim was so cool because the third and fourth hour it was like two completely different plays I it really was I tried to go to one of y'all's, but uh, what happened was I was watching the first act, and then I just started getting a little itch, you know? And then it kept going everywhere, and then, like, the lights come out, and then I see these massive hives all over oh. my body, and I'm like, oh, huh. I need to go home. So I, I'm not even that close with Ms. Vanoss at this point. I'm like, I got these hives. I don't know whether I should go home or not. I really want to watch <laughs> the rest of this, though. And did she's like, you need to go home. <laughs> I know. So you saw the first act. I did. Oh, so did you like my Hansel? I did like your Hansel. Uh, that's good. No, we're not doing a commentary of Grimm. We're doing a commentary of High School. True. Grimm, though, well, is okay. the Juan again, remember? Juan, oh, yes. Juan rose Stephano. to the occasion. We had quite oh, a few this people. is this one. This is one of the moments where we came back and tied it together, though, where we made this character Jordan right. to fit in with the whole thing coming up later of a of um. What's the next? What's the scene that them called? Procrastination scene. Yes, oh, yeah, I wrote that. that's the one you wrote. Oh, you wrote yes. that. Nice, nice. 
Very good. So yeah, we had to we had to direct him because he was doing the scene when he first got it as Juan. It's like, no, you have to do this scene as Seth. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he did. He had to change his whole mannerism. Oh, there, there you are. There's there the you Seth. Are. There's Pee Pee. The mighty patriotic. No, I Pelican. think I added patriotic Pelican to this scene. Because when she wrote it, she didn't. But we needed you to right. be there, so I added you in there. We just need you uh, well, like this anywhere we can right. fit you. When I wrote the procrastination. Oh, oh, here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Here, oh. it is. here we go. Okay, now, now stop talking about all the stuff you keep late. You kept so leading up to. We got another statistic coming up. Actually, you know what? We're gonna pause, pause right before yes. this recording. Okay. So let's get back into it. Okay. okay. The most serious scene of the whole play, and David has lots to say about it. So. As I was saying earlier, I was, I was never skeptical. Ske I never had problems um, <laughs> doing uh, a play about high school, but and but in my head, and I talked about this a bit about how um, when we when I learned we were going to do a podcast, I mean a podcast, when I learned we were going to do a play on high school, I threw out a lot of homeroom ideas, and homeroom is obviously very jokey. So, and when that got turned down, I was fine. I wasn't upset about it, but I was still in the mindset of we need to do, we need to do this very very jokey. And, and I was at a point for a while where I was like, nothing serious. And I remember before I knew Dre was doing this scene, and that's Dre on, on screen right now. Before I knew Dre was doing this scene, I was talking to him about it. I was like, you know, man, I don't think we should do anything serious. And I actually kind of feel bad about it because like, nothing. I'm like, nah, man, I think it would suck. <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay. And he was like, in the middle of writing the scene, which became like the best scene that we did the entire year. Definitely. It's so good. I will have to point out, he wrote the music that's behind yes. him as well. Yes, Dre so wrote the very music. Very talented person here. He wrote all of this. This is, a, this is all Dre. Like, the only thing that I, I have a, I didn't write a whole lot of this scene. I, I just wrote um, all of Jonathan's, Jonathan's big monologue. You wrote the classroom part of it. In the, in the classroom of part of it. Yeah. I wrote the classroom part of it. I wrote Jonathan's big monologue. Yeah. But, um, okay, so basically here's the story. Um, I, I've always been skeptical about being funny, but then, I mean, about being serious. And then I got into this scene, like, you know, it's fine. I was a little worried. Um, there's some history of suicide in my family. Uh, so it's, and it's closer. It, it, it hits a little closer to home to me. So I was, I under, I was never concerned, but I understood the concern that could come from this. Definitely. Well, I'll, I'll also and, tell you that when he was first writing it, we originally were going to have him actually die. Yeah, and everybody yeah, in the right. whole room went, <gasps> like, That's no! right, I forgot about that. Okay, okay, okay. I'm glad he was didn't do well, that. Well, but it didn't fit. It, and when we decided, no, he doesn't need to die, then everything fell into place. It's like, oh, okay, this is what we have to do. Yeah. So it, it went, it just wrapped right back around into the first hour yeah. scenes perfectly. It, it, it was perfect, and I'm happy we didn't do any of what I'm about to say. So... <laughs> I was I was never fine. I was like I was always again serious. I'm like okay, you know what? Serious is fine. And then, but I was like oh, that might be a concern. I was always a little concerned. I was a little I was a little anxious about it. And then about a week, maybe under a week before the play happened, uh, we had some students come to us um, with with a concern. And first of all, it's like well, you didn't come to it because at this point, actually, nobody come to us concerned about it. Even though there was always that sort of like feeling, nobody actually said. I don't think we should do this. Right. But about a week, under a week before the play is about to happen, we're written, we're rehearsing. Uh, uh, she comes to us and says, um, a couple students, they're like, yeah, I have a problem with it. Which on one hand, I want to be sensitive to it. But on the other hand, I'm like, the play's in four days. Mm -hmm. Right. And you've had all this time to tell us. But um, I was friends with these people. So I tried to sort of, and Ms. Vanoss was very much like, well, I'm sorry. We can't do anything about it. And uh, but I was like, you know, you know, I understand. And because it hits a little closer to home, I I was like, I understand the potential concern. So I came to Ms. Van Austin. I was like, let's just write a dream. Let's write a version of this play that is a dream sequence. So we act. Me and Ms. Van Austin act. We didn't even tell Dre about this because we knew Dre would hate it so much. And we Dre, had an option. Yeah, but me and Ms. Van Austin, I convinced her. Even though she was like, we're never going to need this, I was like, let's just write a version of the scene that is a dream sequence. And that sucks. I know. I, that's, <laughs> I know. I agree. But I was like, this might go very badly. I was still in the mindset that maybe we would do this Friday night and the audience would hate it. Well, I have to just jump in and say, I was not unaware of the concern and I didn't feel like I blew it off. No, you didn't. No, My no, idea didn't was this is going to be fine. I mean, I've done this, done this a little while. And I, I felt like this was going to be a really good scene from the beginning. I, I just felt it would play well and that it would add what we needed to the depth to the play. Yeah. And I never saw any problem with it, like at all. Not to be insensitive to people, and that's why we put the warning in the program, 
But I just truly thought this is going to be not only fine, but really good. You were right. That's what but, we were talking about earlier. But I still, I, it was our idea together, I think, to do the dream sequence because we really? both kind of threw ideas about like, okay, we could do okay. it this way or change this. And we, we came up with a way that it could work. Oh yeah, it was our idea together, but I do yeah. think, like, I don't think you would have written a dream sequence if I didn't come to you and but say But we never wrote it. We just talked about how. Oh yeah, how. we never wrote it. We just, we. Ooh, Lord. Oh yeah, Cupid's so good. This we, is such a strong it really scene. Is. You know, I know it's so good. You talk a lot about not wanting to do this, but I, I feel like if it wasn't our group, maybe we should have strayed away from it. But I saw the potential it had, and I really, I was really never worried about it because I saw you do it one day at practice. I'm like, that's solid. Yeah. And then at, when Dre came up with the music, I'm like, this is really, oh, really good. I knew the good. scene. I knew the scene was incredible. But I, and I think that outweighed the. Uh, the concern. The let's say this. Let's say this. If we were professionals, then I would have never had a problem with it. But I'm, my mind is like, we're like high school teen. I, I sort of had to be like, we're high school teenagers, and and we're doing this in the jacket gym. You know, like this is pretty. Like, is this too much for us? I was like, is this out of our league? Which it wasn't, and we did amazing. But in my head, I was like, is this is this something we really want to deal with right now? And I'm happy we did. I love how it turned out. And you were right about everything. Oh, here's the Patriot of Pelican. Well, we did also get that from the audience. I had quite a few audience members specifically say, I'm glad you included the whole thing. Because people really don't always know how dark it gets. And I mean, we also don't really know how many kids are sitting in the classroom that are grappling with these kind of problems. Yeah. And and that was my concern. We don't know how many people (laughs) in the audience were. You know? So that's why I... Well, I was like, basically my idea that I told you was if it goes really bad Friday night, right. then the rest will do it a dream sequence. And I was, on Friday night I did it, and um, Zoe played Delilah in the scene. And I'm, I'm pretty close with Zoe, and, and I'm sitting back there, and Dre's about to swallow the pills. Dre, Dre's about to swallow the pills. And, I'm, and, I, and, I, and I grab Zoe's hand, and I'm having a panic attack, because I, I literally right there. don't know. <laughs> you, you saw yeah. sweat. Oh, you were there. You were there. Yeah. Yes, you were there. I literally didn't know how the audience was going to react. I expected that. I was like, in the back of my head, I'm like, they could gasp, and people could like leave, and people were going to throw food at the stage. And they're gonna be like, oh, my God, how could you do that? And then my mom's going to come to me and be like, son, how could you? Because I had heavy involvement, and she's like, you wrote that scene? You know about that? And I'm like, I'm sorry. And, and I was... It was, it was a lie. But then the audience loved it, and then it came my time to go on, and I was like, okay, it's going well. The worst, worst is over. They didn't hate it. In right. fact, and then eventually, of course, it turned out great because he, because Patriot and Pelican saved him. Yeah. So it's I just good. love the whole Scrooge type thing that we did with right. it. I, I just I, love I, it. I, I gotta say, I'm glad I was able to be in that scene because it's my favorite scene in the entire play. Yeah, it's the best so. scene. And when we wrote the one act version, this is the whole focus because yeah. we took Tristan as an older person counseling someone who's feeling really down right. and possibly con- contemplating suicide. So if it, if it becomes a popular one act, it'll strictly be because of this. Mm-hmm. Right. Everything literally builds just to that. You know? mm-hmm. And the only characters who even matter in the one act version are Jonathan and Tristan and Patriot and Pelican. Like, in fact, we kind of wrote it like everybody else kind of background. Just does. It's very we, background. We cut. We cut the homeroom characters, didn't we? We cut two we, or three. We cut a couple of them, yeah, and then we cut the entire intro. Scene. I thought you cut the pelican in the one act version. We did cut the pelican in the one act version. We did. We so did. how did we do? It was the te- It was the teacher. Is in this scene, the teacher fills the pelican role because we establish. Yeah, because you we couldn't make. The it pelican. wouldn't have worked. No, it wouldn't. Have. But you gotta read it. Read, I really yeah, I did. I did read it. That's why I was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you did. So oh, we that's cut. Right, the, that's we right. actually cut the pelican in the one version, and we, and we had a couple scenes. I think that worked pretty well, though. That established that the teacher cared about Tristan. I mean, yeah, about Tristan. Uh, it worked in better. So the mm-hmm. so then the teacher comes and does the whole pelican right. thing where he saves him. Right. So we cut Luke, and I don't remember who else we cut. Like Jessica. And yeah, Jessica. Kind of the, maybe. The, maybe Michaela. Maybe yeah, maybe. Yeah. And then we cut the whole intro scene in, in the one-act version. Christmas very, scene. very well written. Yeah, it is. It's very good. I'm thrilled about it. And I loved how we ended it. I just thought that was terrific. I read yeah. it all at once. Like, mm-hmm. it, was, it was pretty good. So you like, you like the ending where Jonathan comes in? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I do. It's like, very, I, I, that was the really, uh, I think that made the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I will say this about the, another statistic, though. A lot of people were like, why does this need to be in, be in here? When um, it was being written, 
Yeah, fourth hour was much more resistant than third. Yeah, they truly and were. you know, I kept saying, you know, this is about stuff that happens in high school, and as much as a lot of you don't want to see it, people do deal with this kind of stuff, Absolutely. and it needs to be talk talked about. So I think this was a good, I, not even necessarily, it sparked conversation, I yeah. think. Yeah. And I mean, it was very, very Pollyanna. Mm -hmm. I mean, it ended as perfect as it could, yeah. but yeah. still it, it drew... It, it showed that we weren't afraid to, well, to tackle right. something it, important. It, I don't think it was Friday night, but there were a, it was, the audience was very weird. There was a point where, where Tristan comes back and confesses love for Delilah. That got, that got a huge mm -hmm. like clap. Like I think Friday night, maybe it was this night. Friday night. Friday night, whenever uh, Candace, is, Candace chooses Daniel, that got a huge reaction. And when Delilah says yes to Tristan, that didn't get a reaction. But then it got flipped, maybe Flip, on this yeah. night. Uh, well, poor Dre. I think when Dre walked off stage after his big C, he got applause Friday, but he didn't get it Saturday. Yeah. And he kept kind of walking slower, thinking they're going to start clapping, and they never did. Yeah. And he felt so bad. I was like, well, maybe it's just a different audience. The yeah. audience is always different. Very I, different. I find that crazy. Like, I had a, very different. I don't know, because I was like, I never knew. I never got a single cheer, right? But that's because I'm a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was always like, because when I played Hansel, Everyone laughed. No, yeah. same, yeah. same. Yeah. Everyone's <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, I'm doing great. And then I play John. I'm doing this. I'm screaming. At the end of it, though, I think on Friday night I did get claps. I think I think after I did my big monologue, which I did very intensely, I think that got claps because it was like, wow, good job. At some point, I remember that happening, but I never got a single laugh. Cupid did it very differently. Cupid I'm just watching things. Cupid now. He just grabs my attention. He yeah. really did so he, well. He's, he's yeah, pretty amazing. This whole monologue I wrote. And he's doing the rambling version right now mm -hmm. because we didn't fix it ever. We fixed it for publication. We fixed it for publication. But what the story behind that is I did the audition, and during the audition, I was so passionate that I just started rambling extra stuff. So then I sat down for my audition, and then I just typed all of the things I just rambled and then never went back and fixed it again. So that's why it's so kind of rambly and out there. But it's, I it's thought still, it sounded it, good. It worked. It worked. Oh no, it sounds it's great. Don't worry. I, <laughs> it's, it's just it's we did. I, I do it. have to say about this scene that I really thought that when Jonathan said I didn't want him to die either, that that would be a really like emotionally gripping like. Ugh! I don't think we ever quite never, got there with it. Never it. Really I tried, Sunday I tried really hard to cry, but I was like. But I, I don't even necessarily. I, I just I, wanted I the think, audience to just. I think what the way we. That would have happened if there was more build up to it. Maybe so. But Maybe that so. that would have been tricky to do because you yeah. would have had to kind of show the kinks in yeah. uh, Jonathan's armor a bit more. Right. Yeah, and, and I, I, okay, so all the way leading up to the performance, this is the biggest scene in the play. It is. Mm -hmm. All the way leading up to the performance, Ms. Van Oss never gave me any direction. <laughs> Not a single moment did she ever say, do this, do this, do this. It was like we did the big, me and Dre, we do the biggest thing. And she goes, okay, good, next. And I'm like, that's the biggest scene in the whole freaking play. <laughs> and I guess looking back, it's because we did it good. So she didn't have anything to, to like, to change about it. But anyway, she never said anything. So then Friday night, I do it. Doesn't say anything. And then the next day, I show up, and I wasn't in any of the Saturday performances. Oh, yeah, this is when we skipped it. This is when it we is, skipped the whole is. scene. It wow. Is. Thank God for fixing that, though. But I never... I, I show up for the Saturday performances to like sit in the front, mm -hmm. and she's like, "Hey, look over these notes. Tell me if there's anything I need to say." I'm like, oh, "She has notes. <laughs> she's gonna have notes about another statistic." And I, I just recorded the night before, and a couple of scenes she put checks behind. And anyway, I get, I'm like reading through all the notes, and I get to scene 26, another statistic, and it's a check. <laughs> like, what the he hell? Was so mad at me. I was mad. But I did have to try to explain, like he just said, I tried to fix what really needed it you know when you're right. polishing the diamond you don't polish the side that's already shiny you know yeah. they were shining just fine for me and i felt like when we rehearsed in here i gave y'all direction i really did we rehearsed I mean, in here like three times no but but i mean i i worked with y'all and we we you talked did. about no, i don't want to say you're a bad director uh -huh. that's not what i'm trying to get <laughs> i'm just saying i felt like i did give you some direction no you did give me direct i'm not saying you're a bad director i think now looking back i think it's just that like you didn't, you're right, you didn't focus so much on us because me and Dre were fine. You got it, yeah, yeah, you got it. So let's talk about what's happening here. Oh, okay. Um, so fine. after another statistic, there was supposed to be a different scene, but then the two guys who, the two people who walked out first, they walked out just when they really, they weren't supposed to. They, 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 their scene wasn't for like another scene. It was another scene later. 27 was a scene called Moby, where a girl walks out and talks. And then the scene after that, the two people that walked out for this one walk out. 
and then Alice comes in too. So those two people walk out and they're standing there and I don't know what to do because Elise playing Alice didn't know she was supposed to go on. And then thankfully she figured it out and was like, oh crap, that's my scene. So she came up there and then it worked fine. But at that point we've skipped the scene. So me, Miss Vanoss, and Ashley, who plays Sharon in this play, but not she plays in some other performances, not the one we're watching now. Ashley, we're like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> People in the light are texting pan- me, yeah. what happened? What's Everyone, going on? Everyone's yeah, panicking. Ashley runs back there. And I, I think I run back there. Like, okay, here's what we're gonna do. And we, I, I had put a list of all the scenes. Like, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Well, I was actually I didn't run back there because I was about to. But then, as I'm about to, they fixed it. I remember we were like. Oh, because after this scene, I think Moby comes on. Mm-hmm. And it was pretty crazy. It either really comes cool. on or we just completely skip it. No, they, they do it. They did do they it? Do it. Yeah. Uh, actually, I think what happens is we'll see. We're watching and we'll yeah. see. I think they actually go straight into the classroom scene. But then I thought they brought Mopey. And then after the classroom scene, they that's, Mopey. that's what happened. I think that's what Because yeah. after this scene, they're supposed to go into a classroom scene. And then they go back two scenes earlier, do Mopey, and then go to the scene after the classroom scene. Yeah, I remember backstage, everybody was like, what do we do? I'm like, well, we're going on for our scene. They yeah, skip you have theirs. To. Yeah, I'm, you like, have to. I'm like, we can't wait yeah, around. Yeah, because that was our concern, because this actually did skip a classroom scene. Mm-hmm. And so y'all had yeah. to, yeah. And they were like, but it, they skipped it. I'm like, it's essential to the oh, plot. Most, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that was one of the things David and I were talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's just good, because it gets skips, set up before yeah. that has a math test. But it was, it's like after this, she goes, I have a math test. And it's like... Like, oh, okay, that's why she was concerned. Right. Or maybe, did, did they skip? There were other oh, stuff, there was other stuff in that scene that needed to happen. Oh, absolutely, there, it had so. to be there. And, and it, it, it worked fine, no one knew, but we knew. Yeah, we knew. No one else did, so it was fine. That's the great thing about performing, like... It's all about deception. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. This great line from Parks and Recreation that, that Chris Pratt's character says... There's an old saying in show business, the show must go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Everything goes wrong and you just have to deal with it. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. Oh, well, like you said. And if you're using the panel, everything goes wrong, you gotta deal with it. Did we ever have, in any of the plays we did, did we ever have a perfect night? That's not a thing. Well, I meant like, uh, no screw-ups. No that that so, no. doesn't happen yeah, in theater. That, that I mean, on Broadway, happen every single night. Great it, nights, it might so. happen on Broadway, but in high school theater, that doesn't, great that's nights, not a so thing. We had, we had many great nights. I don't think there was ever a bad performance. Of no, before. but there's always something somewhere. Yeah. And those, like we said, are the moments that make it. Like when Some Gabby the, broke yeah, the, I was about the, the wand. Saying, you know, yeah. She, she you up. broke the wand over my <laughs> oh, skull. Yeah. When at fella. the beginning of this, when oh, Abram yeah. is talking, and then the, we had the mic problem where it goes like, uh-huh, uh-huh. That, that was that? amazing. That? Yeah, I do remember that. Was that so loud. I, mean, <laughs> I, I thought was like, it was hilarious. I had to compose myself. I don't think I by you. The noise was right by yeah. you. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like because he was like building up to it. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I think I was um in the I think I was in the dressing room just chilling out. With everyone else, and just hear. Mm-hmm. It was it's like a nuclear bomb. <laughs> um, it's like, happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they went straight from. And there's Ashley coming back from talking to the people. Did yeah, you yeah, see you her? Saw, yeah, yeah, I saw that. There's our heads. There's you. Yeah, yeah. Aww. <laughs> oh, the playbook thing. Yeah. Now, I don't like this. The playbook part? I don't like that at all. The reason it exists is because I needed to end the Battle of the Gym some way, which involved him leaving and then Jasmine saying, <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. It's good. And I, I remember we had this conversation when we were getting ready to send in for publishing because we were like, why did we, What? What happened there is I needed to end Battle of the Gym some way, so it ended with her saying, You'll rue this day. Mm-hmm. Well, that needs to, something needs to happen where he, she rues the day. And I couldn't think of a single other thing she could do. I mean, Oh, really, what could she do? Yeah, what exactly? What could she do? So I'm like, she steals his playbook. Can anyone else think of anything better? Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> and it's like, and like, okay, so we have to have this done in a week. Can anyone think of anything better? No. Okay. Well, this is what we're doing then, because right. we need it to be finished. I still can't think of something better. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. And then it's we fine. go right into Nevaeh and Jason, so yeah. it's it's really fine. Yeah. I like how um, Abram and I did that did that part differently. When he was looking for the book, he was just confused. But I was like screaming and it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. You weren't a bad James. Was I you, you weren't bad. You give your, See, you beat yourself you up too much. You are a good James. <laughs> you beat no, yourself I up actually too much. Sucked, so. <laughs> no, you I've heard you say now. that a lot. I disagree with you. You 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 don't give yourself enough credit. I, I'll tell you the difference between you and Avery. Avery 
improv is the most of his lines, and then it was killing me because I knew this I knew this play inside and out. I knew I knew everybody's lines, right. and I was like, dude, that's not a line. That's a line. You're not saying the right thing. And I'd occasionally be like, or, or one I was I was like feeding it to him, and he was like, oh, that's right. I mean, there were a couple times Dean sat behind me, and there were a couple times where Dean was like, is this part mine? <laughs> Yeah. And Abram too. Abram too was like, this part mine. That's what I was talking about earlier, how I felt like I knew what I was, everyone knew that I knew what was going oh, yeah. on. Yeah. And I think, and, and said, did you feel the same way? Because everyone knew you knew what yeah. was going on. Uh, yeah. Did you feel like people looked to you in the middle no, of the they play? Def- they oh, def- it was the dance circle. hall. Yep. I hope other casts have such talented dancers yes. because this was always the show stealer. I still don't know how he steps over the box. <laughs> we <laughs> tried. I, I, I was like, I can do it. I yeah. I, uh, I was trying to convince David and oh my, my son God, I could do that. I was like, no, can't I, do it. I made a bunch. I made a bunch of dance edits that just involved mm-hmm. them. I don't know if y'all. So I don't think anyone watched. Yeah. I, I, I think my dance edit volume two has zero views, but it's so good. Oh, well, we should watch it. We'll watch. Yeah, we'll watch it when we're done with this. I was gonna say something. Totally can't remember what it was now. I had a thought. It'll come back. Yeah, but um, Europe is not a continent. <laughs> oh, okay, that's not true. Oh, you're wait a minute. Oh, we, we, Actually, we were talking America about. Um, it's not a country. We were Just talking about me America and you yeah. being, because I definitely felt like people were like, when That's something would go cool. wrong, if, did it feel like they looked to you? Mm-hmm. Like you could it, feel the eyes I'll on tell you what, I spent a lot of time in like that back prop room, so people just assumed yeah. I knew where every single <laughs> yeah. prop was, and I was like, listen. <laughs> you keep up with your stuff, I, I'll I keep up with I did, stuff. I knew, because Ms. Van Austin was like, David, I need you to go to practice early today and make sure the props are right. So I was like, okay, so then I got I got everything together. So oh. I knew where the props there was a moment where, like, Dre couldn't find um, the pills. And we, they were texting us. We yeah. like, that happened two nights. Yeah, so then we had to get in contact with Trey. Was, wasn't there a part where he, didn't he, like, crunch down on the pills one time? I don't remember. That, 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 that was in rehearsal. I think he did it in rehearsal. Yeah, it was in rehearsal. I was, hold on, I was playing. <laughs> because they were, they were tic-tac. Yeah. Like, yeah. Trey, yeah. Don't, don't do that, man. <laughs> He's like, anything for the role. Like, just don't put them in your mouth, pal. <laughs> yeah, we put tape, so it just, yeah. yeah. That was the whole, that's the picture thing. Mm-hmm. I have the dance that is stuck in my head now. So, fun fact mm-hmm. during this play, I would carry around a book most of the time rather than my school bag because uh, yeah. it's just too much work. And that's The Art of War by. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> after it's so the, funny that the page tried to tell him to read The Art of War and he's like, yeah. <laughs> I try to look oh. like I'm really into this book the entire time. <laughs> yeah. And then finally, when it all gets over, I'm actually starting to read it in the classroom. Abram steals it from me, and I haven't gotten the book oh, back. I love it. I love it. Well, I, I actually had a student who needed to read on stage, and he got so caught up in his book that he missed his cue. <laughs> so I'm glad you didn't do that. I'm glad you did not get interested yeah. in your book. Let's, let's see would, if they do Mopey, because this is where it should be, right? Yeah, this sh- it should be here. I was trying to find inspirational lines in there, or maybe words of wisdom that I could randomly spat out. <laughs> nah, it didn't yeah. work for you. Man. You know, sometimes Oof. I think, and I think. Mm-hmm. Can you think some more? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> We're a long blackout here, guys. What is going on? Oh, oh that's a blackout? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Procrastination. Okay, so maybe we did just get Moby. I, think I guess we just... did. I thought we brought it on, but I guess we didn't. Uh, I love this. All right, so ironically, when I was writing this scene, it was in chemistry class, and I was procrastinating an there assignment. You go. That <laughs> makes it real. Oh, and Tara was so precious. I love her expressions on her face. She did such a cute job. I'm honestly so proud of the way this turned out. It's like, really a good like, scene. Really cute. You okay? Yeah, my ass just hurts from seeing I love Seth. He went. <laughs> he put his hand over his mouth. <laughs> I swear, Ooh. I don't like these things up. <laughs> my, my. <laughs> We're on the radio, sir. Yes, yes. <laughs> on Dome Springs High. Yeah. <laughs> We're good, we're good. We're all right? Yeah. Okay. I just need to step away for a sec. I'll be right back. Okay. I can continue on without me. You good? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. Keep, keep it going. Okay. Can I steal you, you see yes. for a sec? Because it's much more comfortable. Yeah. Are you going to be able to survive? Yeah. Oh, do you want to share the headphones? Yeah. He said he couldn't really hear very well. 
Is it just static? Yes. Yeah. It is see, static. I'm, I'm the one that can hear. <laughs> so, I remember uh, when writing this, I didn't even have to come up with everything because I've done all of this. It, it's based on a yeah, true it's story. Based <laughs> off of a true story. And uh, it's like, what are some things that I do? And I'm like, I do this, I do this. Mm -hmm. It's a I very relatable scene. I like it. And at the end, what we did, because I think you ended it on a blackout and that was just not right. something that was easy to do when we were doing it. So we just had him. A, we had it in eight hours later, mm -hmm. so he wakes up. <gasps> I'm late for school. And right. Runs out. I think that turned out a cute ending. And when we were actually putting it all together, uh, what happened was Ms. Ms. Van Os was like, "Just write scenes that happened in high school." So I was like, "Okay." So that I happened. just started writing willy nilly, and then it all got molded yeah, in. It did. That's why the Jonathan character had to change and. Mm -hmm. Well, what, ha what happened first, though, is that I talked to David about his homeroom idea, because he had already mentioned it to me. I said, can I use that basic idea for the play? I don't want to steal it from you, but... So we needed some framework. Right. And so the classroom came, and then everything just... We knitted it together, you know? There was a lot of, like... I, I Like, how the framework was going to be set up. We didn't know that for a while. Well, no, we just were getting scenes, yeah. the random scenes. And procrastination originally was at the very beginning, and I, I just kept trying to figure out the flow, like how is this going to work, mm -hmm. and we had to move it to the end, but then we got to let Juan's character be in uh, piling up as her boyfriend, and then as her boyfriend here, so it really, it worked really well. I, I was very pleased how we made it weave together. This scene made me angry. Because? Because um, Juan was going to get in a breakup over homework. That's why I was angry. Because why? I missed it. I was listening. He was like gonna have a breakup over homework. Well, well I mean that's Sharon's character. Right. Yeah. And the oh, idea no. was wasn't, really it wasn't me. over homework. It was the fact that he didn't care. And if he didn't care, how could he possibly be in a relationship? And you know, I mean that stuff just kind of happens, no. unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Real life once yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> but that happened after. Oh, he's so sweet. We we trimmed this a lot because he wrote it with kind of an idea of a close-up like a TV show. Mm -hmm. And on stage, it just it just was just, very repetitive. Right. We're yes. talking about the, the Daniel monologue that we trimmed, because you told me that you were thinking about the... Um, yeah, because I, I view everything as... Um, on, on film, yeah. not on stage. I think that's just how my mind works. But, it, but you're changing it, though. I mean, since you've done this one and we're writing the second one, yeah, I, I yeah. think you're getting, beginning to see... Yeah, but then I can, then I'm going to go back to writing stuff like home where I need to... Well, you need to know which mindset to be in, right? Yeah. I think because, like, Taylor, you can tell um, the scenes in Homeroom Episode 1, you can tell where Taylor wrote them because Taylor had that mindset of it's on stage, like the stuff with Sharon and uh, James. Uh, still great scene, though. No, no offense. I, I appreciate Taylor for writing all that. I gotta say, when I first started writing them, I had that same mentality, but then I kind of, as I've been writing a, a Pelican story, I've kind of switched it over. Mm -hmm. And writing plays is a lot easier than writing, like, a book. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. like, it's just so formatted, it's so mm -hmm. neat. Mm -hmm. and, well, I actually uh, wrote a book, and my big problem with it is that it came out like a play because it's all dialogue. <laughs> right. So I've got to find and time to go edit and make it into and a I book. And I like a lot of dialogue. I mm -hmm. think it builds up the characters. And to me, the characters are the most important yeah, sure. aspect of any story. Yeah. But uh, I'm actually... Uh, well, that doesn't <laughs> That'll be for when you right. talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on right here? That's... Hey, uh, Jason. And when she finally chooses. So Dean, you said something pretty interesting. You said that what's happening here is Candace was always going to choose Daniel. She was just playing with all these other guys. She thought it was fun, right? Oh no, I was just saying that she never like liked any of those guys. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. But like on the podcast the other day, you uh, you said um, Dan that she was always going to choose him. That she was just I re-listened to it the day it was one with Andre. You said oh, yeah, that, that was, she was just that was the original him. idea. Okay. But she wasn't just like messing with. It's just it, what you were saying is she just she never she always was gonna choose Daniel, and she was waiting for the right time. Because hmm. I always took it as she knew she'd choose Daniel when she got the picture. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, I don't know what I thought. I I just know that she probably had more than those two guys asking her, and she was just irritated by it. But, but over time, Daniel kind of wore her down, so to speak, and she's like, oh, and that, that's so cute. And I remember in rehearsal when you were like, oh my god. 
God, it's yeah, Tristan. Yeah. I love that. Oh, my God, it's Tristan. Did you ever do that on stage? Uh, I think once. Because I just oh. thought that was the funniest thing. And here's here's Jonathan lumbering up. Love it. Look how cool Dre uh, looks. Oh. Yeah, me and Trey tried to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of missed. This is the work. It was because he was going for a handshake, uh -huh. and I was like that. So then, here's what it, it was like: I go for a handshake. Go for like a handshake, though. So uh, you're going uh, for a handshake, uh, and I'm like, that's <laughs> what happened. It was it really was awkward. And then I pulled him in, and he wanted to hug longer than I wanted to hug. Because he, right. he was like, well, we messed the first part up, so let's make the hug really good. And I'm like, no, let's get it over with as soon as possible. <laughs> yes. Do you remember when Dre and I did the <laughs> and it yes. clapped? I was like, we kind of looked at each other. Yeah. Like, well, and, and here's David sitting next to me going, yes, because that was I, like I, his moment. During rehearsal, I don't think I ever got it. Ever, right. Ever. No, we and didn't. I'm like, no. You don't get it. You have to do it. Like, I was getting angry. <laughs> Epic handshake, man. Epic handshake. You have handshake. to get the handshake. Oh. Oh. His big poke. Yeah. This is so cute. When she, he asked her, like, straight up, and she's like, oh. And he's like, so. And she's like, what? Oh. So who that. decided so. that they don't date? Who's head Wait, they, aren't you the one who said that they didn't no, date? No, I think it was Zoe as Delilah. Oh, yeah. like, oh no, they don't date. I, I, I thought uh. that makes no sense. So I think Zoe just doesn't like the idea of dating Dre. So, or Trey. So she was like. <laughs> that's, that's what I thought, to be honest with you. That's I really don't. I, I think that's what Zoe. Yeah. That was kind of annoying. I'm going to be honest. Zoe, that pissed me off. <laughs> you don't, because in real life, she's like, no, I don't want to date Dre. And we were like, oh, yeah, I'll date you. She goes, no. I'm like. But, I think I yeah. think Delilah and Tristan dated. They date. Why wouldn't they date? That's I mean, so dumb. I don't, I don't yeah. think they stayed together and had babies, you know, for 20 yeah. years you know, down the road. But and, I mean, and, I think and they in dated the one in version, In the one-act version, we mentioned that they didn't stay together for very long. Mm -hmm. it, but, really? But, well, they stayed together for a while, but, but... They didn't, like, end up together kind of yeah. thing. Right. Tristan's a great ahead of her. There's that, too. You know, things that didn't work out. But Zoe, and I think Zoe convinced Dre of this, and she was like, no, they don't date. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way she said it. That's, so good. Yeah, that's having so this big debate over a fictional character. Yeah. I mean, what difference? Oh, oh, here he is. Oh, here he goes. God. Here, here you can go. listen to it. Do you want to hear it? Oh, it made me so mad. So, you know what you're talking about. My name's on the oh, paper. Oh, no, I thought that was it. Oh, that thing uh, comes after. Maybe, maybe it's next. Wait, isn't next her name also on the paper? Oh, wait, no, because next is the final day. That wasn't the final oh, day. Okay. No, you're right, you're right. I just was, saw you come oh, forward no, with yeah, your jacket was, on. Yeah, no, that was Sometimes you it's hard to going remember. all like, hmm, now I need the Patriot Falcon to help I'll me get a you. girlfriend. Right, uh, yeah. that's it. That's what that was. That's, what, that's exactly what that was. I'll tell you what, I retired that jacket after I played because it got so I bet, sweaty. I bet it. But it's and leather, it was nice. Yeah. Couldn't get it clean? Well, it's not actually. Oh, so it's not real leather, okay. Pleather. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> way to expose there was a, it. A, it was an ongoing joke in here that space weather between me and Adrian and I shut up every time <laughs> because you can't buy a good leather jacket for 60 bucks. Well, there you go. But, uh, there you go. Well, maybe a good one. You never know. Yeah. I, you know what? I, I wore the jacket as a statement, okay, because uh, a lot of people thought it was nerdy and stuff, so I was like, I'll wear this black leather jacket. And you know, spice things up. Well, I was just a nerd with a black leather jacket. <laughs> <laughs> you are a successful nerd. But, uh, That's okay. You're successful. Yeah, this is where Jason brought up that he was tired of chasing after Candace, so he tied it in his, himself. Those are the kind of things that we could have done if we had a more stable cast. But yeah. He did it, so that worked. I, casting was a big issue. Oh, it was issue. horrible. I, I we talked about, about it earlier. That. I mean, we were like talking about how the joke was every day, like how many dropped out today, how many dropped out over the weekend. I don't get, I don't know what the problem was with the committee, you know? Like, the, that was the problem. Was bad, huh? <laughs> that was the problem, uh -huh. because there was no commitment. Hey, another angel appearance. There we go. We have to point it out, because I actually... Uh, couldn't remember. <laughs> I couldn't remember, so we're t we were talking about it, and I was, he was like, oh yeah, I did that. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. No, I didn't remember. Didn't remember sorry, all. angel. I'm very yeah. sorry. Well, I, I'll go back to something that I said earlier. People were just not sure that we could really write a play and, and write a good one. Mm -hmm. They just didn't see it. And that upsets no me. It really That's does. Right, they didn't. And why not? I mean... Well, I think that it's it literally, and it might just be me thinking. Wait a minute. They, they didn't think that, maybe not just that I could do it, but that I could help us do it. She's been you wearing a saying? dress in every scene she was in. Yeah, she did. She's been in, she was in, like, scenes that take place at school, though. She, 
Was it at school? I don't think it was. This, I mean, oh well. She's talking to a guy in a school uniform. Yeah, but the, this is a relationship scene, so he just happens to have those clothes on. I think he just didn't want to change. Fine, 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 fine. See, because they're not. In, in okay, so fine. fine. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm back to those conversations. The uh, pants he was bagging on. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I come in this scene. Mm -hmm. Now we we did keep this. Yeah, I. I don't often improv on stage because, like, I'm, I'm a very precise person, uh -huh. and uh, if anything, I'll do that at rehearsal. But I think I'm. It, it might. It might have been a rehearsal. I, I like came up with this little rhyme thing. Yeah, and I we did. put that in the play. Yeah, and then we I stuck it. with it. Mm -hmm. This actually is pretty good. What? What do you? I was just wondering when the part was like. Um, oh yeah, it was that was with Sharon, right? Is it Sharon who's the smart one? Yeah. Sharon's the smart one. Oh, yeah, yeah, pick yeah, up yeah. her books? Yeah, you pick up your books. Yeah, I don't even... That was in piling up. Yeah, and I added in some words there, because I wasn't originally supposed to speak, but I was like... Was that when you made the uh, the pun? Yes. What was the joke? <laughs> I have no idea, but you, I remember yeah, I people think, laughing. I think, I think it was the word liberate. Oh, uh, let me let me liberate you of that mess. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. That's yeah. what it was. Ah, uh, brilliant freedom. Okay, here's where she whines <laughs> and does the whole meme, or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> At this point, it's a dead meme. At that, there, while that was happening, that was still hot in the middle of the of that meme. But as of right now, as it's of recording, it was really it was old dead. then because I had heard about it a long yeah, time. Yeah, but it wasn't before. dead. It wasn't okay. dead. Because now it's dead. Now it's dead. Okay. Wasn't it, it, it was like laugh. it, it was on it was on his, it was on his last legs. But, yeah. Um, they they laughed. Because. Every meme is a dead meme when Amber says it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so that that really got a big laugh. That's where she did it right there. Because she did. I think she did so well. And yeah. That's why. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and the fact that it was just making, I mean, it wasn't even, a, it was a meme at that point. It was just the stereotypes, I think, is what really happened. No, people recognized it. Uh, no, tell. yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I got that dance edit stuck in my head now. It's so good. Don't what? watch my dance edit, guys. No, we got to watch it. Yeah. I thought you only did one, so why did you make a second one? Just have time I, on your hands? I was <laughs> depressed. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm trying to, to make a cover for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to do that. Okay. What is our theme for this particular podcast? Yeah, I don't know. Last time was already pirates, so I can't do pirates again. Maybe oh, it has to have Zablatho. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like Draw the four of us and then say, like, high school another day, another test commentary. Yeah. You know, it's, what is the thumbnail for this commentary? The thumbnail for the commentary. Yeah. Can you draw me with sunglasses on? I can just draw the Patreon account. Uh, yeah, it's a shame works. you don't have a gray, because they all know I have gray hair. The drama teacher with gray hair. <laughs> I, just look like, I have a bunch of colors, and he's always like, no, it's just black he's, ones. Well, he does very well with black. Just, yeah, black is my favorite color. Oh. See, now he's drawing with his right hand. I told him the other day, I, every time I ever saw him draw on my board, he drew with his left hand. Multi-talented boy there. You're always my right hand. When you drew, I swear when you drew. I mean, if you sit over there, then I can be able to hear you. Oh, yeah. Probably. I really you've never drawn on my board with your left hand. I mean I have a couple of times. Yeah. That was just that was just practicing. Oh, the last day. Uh, Some weird is... staging. That was a really hard scene to stage. Yeah. yeah we I, just didn't have any room. I'm always in the very back, so I think there wasn't a single time where I came around the same way. Like, cause I, I was always trying to like and one of the times it just looked bad the way I sat down. Well, I was like, Ooh. I mean it is, it is what it is. What's the title of this video? Uh, it's the commentary. Commenta I mean, commentary of high school and other day of the test. Okay. Let me tell you what. This scene is the absolute hardest for me to get on stage because literally, right as my line comes on, I'm putting on my shoe or I'm zipping up my dip, my jacket mm. because like there's like maybe two minutes and uh, I, I tell you, you had what, to completely yeah, cover up. Yeah. yeah. It was quite the struggle for you. I know. That's why I, when I made that list, I, I went through and highlighted every pelican change. Yeah. I'm um, trying to keep it. Before okay. you did that, I actually did it on my phone because, like, oh, okay. I was like, and then I, I saw it on there. I'm like, you know what? That that really. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. <laughs> David trying on his director shoes there. Yeah. Doing yeah. a fine job. Well, that was more of a producer job. Right? You think? Yeah, like that's not a producer. Really. I see that all as directing. Oh, okay. That's just me personally. Oh, big old hug. It's so cute. 
This scene kind of drags too, sort of like the um, yeah, sort of Christmas, like the Christmas, but not quite as bad. I think it's necessary though. I feel like we needed the closing. Yeah, the tie up of this. I, mean, this, I think this is dominant, but never happened in real life. But well, no, actually that's not true because we literally do it in theater class. I think <laughs> never mind. Yeah, that was, what, that, that was a false statement that yes, I said. Yes, it was. You've Sorry. never taken one of my classes, David. Come on now. So taken. I gave like four different <laughs> goodbye three speeches. Three classes. It was crazy. Wow. I had this one where I was like taking off the mask, and that came from the heart. Yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of four different whatevers, we ended the play three times. So the end of this scene is the end of the play. Then you have your speech. No, no. Then we go to song, and mm -hmm. that's the end of the play. Then you do your speech. And then yeah. that's the actual end of the play. Yeah. In, the, in, so the, the, in the published version, yeah. uh, we, we have it go straight from this to your mom. To Pelican. Which makes it funny because, you know, okay, I don't know if you ever noticed. So wait, in the two-act version, does the Pelican stay in? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh he's yeah. Yeah. We only out the published version. Oh, so still, just okay. the one-act okay. version we write. Yeah, the one-act we had to trim so much that we couldn't make it work. Oh, nice. Okay. So in the published version, I don't know if you ever noticed, but right here, at whenever – you do the thing with, with Dre, you say a Pelican's work is never done. And then in your final monologue, you say, so the Patriot of Pelican's work was done. Oh, Have you man. ever noticed that? Have you ever noticed that? I never noticed that. That's well, cool. I, did, I, I did it on purpose because I thought it'd be funny. And it works a lot better in the poetry because he, it, here's, here's the joke is you say a, Patriot, a, a Pelican's work is never done. And then you walk up and... So the Patriot of Pelican's work was done. That's I think that's going to be hilarious because in yeah. the published version we took the song out. We so it to. just it just goes straight from and then we had to because this video is copyrighted because of that song. I mean it, it just we can't make money off of it. Right. This video is literally copyrighted because of it. So I'll tell and you the what. Song. When I no just that one. Okay. I, I can see specifically. When I when I found out that uh, you you wrote that monologue at the very end. Right? Yeah. When I found out that I was doing that. I was ecstatic, but I was terrified at the, <laughs> at the same time. So I went home and I practiced that again and again. I'm like, this is the last thing the audience is gonna hear. I'm and like, it was perfect. Man. It really? Was, so was it really? Oh, and then you yes. do like a. <laughs> I mean, it, it, go -go! I oh, it. Yeah. and by the way, the new play that we're writing about camps, um, we have the little. Um, Handshake. handshake that two characters do, and I'm thinking we gotta add the ca -ca! Uh, That would be awesome. <laughs> Another reference to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Oh, come on now. So the original ending of the play, do you know only... what the original ending of the play was? I actually do not. It was a scene Cora wrote, right? Well, she was, yeah, some freshman with the alarm going off and, like, starting yeah. the movie. Oh, actually, it was I did, really I did, short. I did, I did. Like, maybe three lines. I remember that. I remember that. Didn't and that was not bad. It was a cute idea. It was yeah. like a little nod. I think, I think yeah. what happened was better. Oh, much. much. Yeah, I, I emailed it to her, like, like, at midnight. I just sent this email, I an email, like, at midnight, like, hey. <laughs> uh, I wrote this, <laughs> and I was like, because you, the way you had talked to me about Cora's thing was, you were like, I really love this. I thought you, I, uh, you weren't as passionate about it as I thought you were, but I thought you were super, super. No, I into just like the idea. I like the, that we ended it yeah. with a kind of. I realize that now, but I thought you were oh. way more into it than okay. what you were. So okay. I was like, I don't know if you really like this. You might like the other version better, and I totally understand. But in my head, I'm like, this is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was so much better. Uh, you know what? I, I don't know if it had as much effect like I felt like it did, but when I like took off the bandana and just kind of like <laughs> yeah. was a person, I was like, man, it was good. Yeah. It was so good. It had all the effect. It did, and the song didn't. I just really thought because I've lived through lots of people leaving high school. I thought when we got up there and sang that last song, and people saw you all in your caps and gowns. I just I thought that people would just be just breaking down, and they we never did. No, uh, there's, there's we know. How's that possible? <laughs> And together, we can go the distance. This is Vanoss. Me and Dean, we were, we're in that, we were in that scene. We hated it so much. <laughs> we hate the ending. We always, me and Dean always like... Okay, we hated the again. ending for different things. You hated the ending because you just hated everything about it. Yeah. Because it was too cheesy. Yeah. But I hated it because I couldn't sing it myself. That's why you hated it? Yes. You wanted us to sing it yourself, and that's yes. why you were there. <laughs> and that's you would have liked it. Yes. I didn't like the song, but the, also, I, okay, so I, I didn't like the song, but I was talking to Tara, and me and Tara are very close, she's my, literally my favorite person alive, and I was talking, I was like, I was about to say, I don't like the ending, and then she was like, yeah, that was me, me and Grace's idea, she, I think she said, I don't remember who's idea, I think she said it was her idea, and I was like, oh, <laughs> that's nice, I, I can't tell her how much I don't like it, because, wait, is she gonna know now, yeah, <laughs> sorry Tara, 
<laughs> I mean, it's over now. It's, no, and it didn't make fine. the final cut, so it's okay. Well, I mean, I think the only reason it didn't make the final cut is because then it's the whole dealing with the music and we're yeah. doing that song. Right. And, uh, yeah. I, we had to have something that showed graduation, I thought. I mean, our, our published version doesn't, but I mean... Yeah, I, I just, just I really wanted to show the caps and gowns and yeah, I just it's good. I, I, okay, I don't hate it so much as I'm making it out right now for a joke. It's well, I just bad. I really thought it would be much more emotional and have yeah. a much bigger impact. And I love that Everett came and, and let us record together because we got to record a song. I mean, how many times do you get to but do I that? think it was cool for yeah. us. Yeah, like, for us, cool for us. Like so many of the things that we had to cut. Well, you, you definitely, you showed, it. he did sing it for us, or at least most of it, in a recording session, and you, you nailed it. I really wish I could sing, because the things I, I would I sing, <laughs> I wish I had any sense of musical talent. You actually sing very well, I heard you talking oh. about that on the, like when you were in class, back here singing, like dude. I can sing Weezer very good. Well, you sang Time in a Bottle, and What's I Weezer? can't remember what other. You know, we Say It Ain't So. Oh, yeah. I can, I can do Weezer very good, and Green Day, because... <laughs> Weezer's like, because Green Day, the guy who in Green Day can't sing, so it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to paradise. Yeah, yeah. That's literally yeah. how it sounds. So that was fine. And then, I, was, I don't know if they aren't centered at all. Maybe it's just the camera. No, it's not the camera. It's they aren't centered. <laughs> and those are the four. Those Did the everybody people. get oh, a camera? Why is it? Why is it? Only the homeroom people. Oh. The first yeah. hour keeps saying homeroom. They look so goofy. All, no, only the seniors. <laughs> Oh, yeah. no, uh, only the, the first hour seniors. seniors. Yeah, the first hour seniors. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. First hour seniors. We just yeah. didn't have enough. Mm. Hey, David, do you mind if I make you rip in this? I. Oh, no, please don't <laughs> make me rip. <laughs> okay, so what you're saying is, yes. He's like, yes. <laughs> why, why would you even ask that question kind of thing? Yes. Just making sure. I'm just making sure. <laughs> you going to give him some tattoos? What is all that? Yeah, those, those are just, those are just ripples his muscles. That's his a muscles. sinewy flesh. Right. Gotcha. You know, it really is depressing. You know that all the seniors are gone. I, I really, I'm still here. Well, I have to uh, say, I have been. never had a group to graduate and not leave. <laughs> so this has been wonderful for me because, like, hey, can we do this? Hey, can we get together and do this? I'm like, yes, yes, you can. <laughs> so I got to yeah. keep in touch with y'all. Yeah. I mean, I'll see y'all next year, but uh, uh, we don't count. Me and Dre. No, you do count. <laughs> and I'm thinking we got to figure this out. I need to get in touch with everybody who's going to be here next year and figure out when we're going to meet and talk and you know we have to do way more than drama club meetings if we're going to Absolutely. keep up you know because you know growing a program is not going to work if we can't build it right. with the same people every year so um, we're going to have to figure that out get everybody bopping this is the only time the scene worked did you run up there yet no not yet okay this is the only night the scene worked and that's because caitlin was up there dancing Literally, well, I think. But everybody think was, was being silly. Well, everyone was dancing, but when Caitlin like, walked over and started dancing with Dre, that, I remember specifically you looked over at me and said, that's what I want to happen. Right. So I, I wanted people worked. to do more than just stand there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so. I was coming up soon. You got to sing, Dean. Was, oh, you can't hear the music. Oh, well, that we just said, the, oh, yeah. Hmm. Are they singing that? Yeah, they're singing Yeah, no, they've been singing. Uh -huh. Oh, is I supposed to sing just now? No, wait. This is your part. Oh, yeah, no, I can no, this is Joel. I'm sorry. We missed your part. Oh, Joel enjoyed his moment. <laughs> I was like, oh, Joel, I'm fine. I could just see him there. I mean, I can't hear him right now, mm -hmm. but I could just. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so I come out days and I remember uh, coming. Cause I come out with a guitar. Yeah. yeah. Thinking, I don't know. I don't think it's in the video. It would sure really be cool guitar. if I could actually play this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you do jump on stage. I do jump on stage. Okay. He has I'm to drop to his hat first because I jump on stage and pick up his hat. Oh, okay. It's coming. Cupid does. You shredded that. I thought you were on there a lot longer. I just totally. <laughs> no, it's at the end. <laughs> there, yeah, it's, this is it. I see him trying to pick it up. <laughs> you just there, do there it. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just screwed the mic up, apparently. Jesus. Aww. Let me share. <laughs> I think me and Cupid both think we hate each other. Like, I think he hates me, and, I, and, uh, and he thinks I hate him. But it's very much the opposite. And we learned that recently when he, like, asked to be on the podcast. It's like, oh, you don't hate me? That's good. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, Jesus. And he thought I hated him because he told Zoe. Like, I was hanging with Zoe. And they were talking, and Zoe just mentioned 
that we were, we were hanging. Oh. And here's the last line. Oh, God. Do All I hear is static, though. Here you go. Leave it. Yeah, okay. And we were just hanging, and then people was like, oh, David hates me. Like, what? <laughs> oh, this oh. is bad. There's probably one earphone that's just static. The, the, the right one. It's the right yeah, one. It's just one, static. The one okay. Keep the left one in. That's your right. That's <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's been a long day. <laughs> Spider-Man. Well, yeah. I'm over here because I because I showed up late. What's well, Seth? Yeah, I'm drawing Seth. Oh, I see. I totally didn't yeah. go. Okay, get that. Dean knows what he's doing. No, I was asking. Knows. No, I didn't know what was going on. I'm not just asking questions. Any comments on this on the set? This is your big moment at the end here. The I felt like I was stuttering the whole time, but I, now that I hear this, no, you weren't. I oh. wasn't. Yeah, <laughs> I felt like I kept tripping over my words, but I guess that was just my nerves. Mm -hmm. But uh. I'm just gonna get emotional to watch because right after this is whenever I, I made the video for the banquet and that video is such a good video. Mm -hmm. I'm so like emotional about it. Look at the standing up. Oh look, the standing ovation and dancing. That Aww. was perfect. And but we, we didn't think to have Cora come out by herself until Sunday, Sunday and it wasn't a big deal. Like if tonight she would have like brought down or this night yeah. she would have brought the house down. Yeah. That Rippity, should have been a thing. Rippity, yeah. Rippity. Didn't happen. Too bad. You know, I mean, she got big applause when she did come out. I mean, you can't. You have to just do things. If you try to get anything perfect, you'll never do it. There he is. I love it. Mm. <laughs> 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 MM. Perfect. You know, when exactly somebody pointed that out to me, they're like, I think it was a kid, because I dressed up, I occasionally make guest appearances at the Pelican whenever I can. Gosh knows I need to wear tights whenever the oh, opportunity for it presents itself. Yes. But I was working, I was volunteering at a summer camp, and uh, this kid's like, "Who are you?" And I'm like, "I am the patriotic pelican." They're like, <laughs> "Your initials are PP." I'm like, <laughs> 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 I'm like <laughs> Dang. maybe you should be the patriotic eagle. <laughs> oh no, PP works. We but, need our PP. Yeah, like okay. Peter Parker. Peter Parker. Man. You guys know it Steve, Steve Ditko passed it. away. I, I cried I, last night. Yeah, I because I have that. a I have a poster of the first uh, Amazing Fantasy, which is the first oh, appearance yeah. of Spider Man. And I saw that he died, and I looked up, and it's hanging above my bed, and so he he drew it, and I started crying. And then I looked over, and so I have a Stan Lee autograph, and I know that when Stan Lee dies, oh. I'm gonna look over and see my Stan Lee autograph, and I'm gonna cry. Anyway, so the play. <laughs> yeah. uh, we don't. So they call that. you up, and part of me was like, should I go up there? But I didn't. I thought you were. I thought you stayed. You didn't. I didn't go up there. I didn't go up there. Oh. You should, should I have? Yeah, you should. I didn't know if it's like, no, yeah. this is the moment for the director to come on stage. <laughs> so I was just like, I'll stay out. And also, I'm accused often of involving myself in everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> by Andrew, mostly. Andrew. Andrew likes to give me give no, me crap. I can think of other people that do that though. Who? He's, what? Nothing. Say the word. I Ian. can't say their name. Say their name. No. <laughs> is it? Because I don't want to call out people. I don't want to. I don't want to bring hate to this table. Does it rhyme? Well, with that was high school. Clef Howden. Another day. <laughs> Clef Howden. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was a okay. high school. Another day, another that test. It doesn't even rhyme with Bowden. Howden. Howden. That is a wow. question I have. Bowden Bowden. It's it's Bowden. Actually, it an is. interesting story. Okay. Uh, my other Save guy. it for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Just, All right. So, what do you got? What, what are your final on. thoughts on high school? Another day, yes. another test. I loved it. I, it was the time of my life being in that. It was, it's. I think it's probably the best experience I've ever had. Yeah. And that's the golden. You know, I. I wish I knew I was in the good old days before I left them, and I think I knew I was in the good old days. I really do. Because, mm -hmm. like, now looking back, that was the hap I, that was the happiest I've ever been. The, the the peak of my happiness as a human was the theater banquet. Literally, the night of the theater banquet. Mm -hmm. And the second to that is is that at the end of that performance because I ran around with the camera and I got interviews and I hugged everybody, lots of crying. It is the peak of my happiness. Everybody, I had so many friends and um, and like a fa it was like a like a real family that Miss Vanoff created. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was that's literally the peak of my human I, I happiness. I don't think it really gets much better than that in high school because I tell you what, 
all my closest friends were just graduated. Like mm -hmm. Abram, I, there's no, there's nobody that's been closer to me than him. Mm -hmm. And now he's gone. Like he's gone, gone now because he's either, I think he's, I, he might enlist. So oh, oh boy, he's yeah. talked about. I thought he already yeah. had. Well, he doesn't know what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, uh, we got five minutes. So Dean, 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 what are your final thoughts on on high school and the day of the test? Ultimately, nearly the perfect experience. Really? Nearly. It really humbled me because I was terrible. At you were not bad as James. <laughs> Give yourself a bad. break, sir. Uh, no, I'm not going to. But it was really good. I'm very proud of what we did. Sure, a lot of people were haters, but we blocked them out, and we dabbed on them super hard. <laughs> we dabbed on them <laughs> haters yeah. super because, hard. Because, I mean, what we did, it felt better than anything we would have done. So, and that's the important part right. because we were looking at all of these, all of these other plays, and we're like, man, all of these. Oh, oh my God! That was you very loud. Chair just fell. Yeah, it's okay. Your desk fell yeah. over. But all yeah. of these, were, they really did suck. Yeah, we were. They all did. these just kind of suck. They and didn't meet. They didn't. Well, they didn't not, match up. Well, that's what I told. I told a reporter when he was like, "Why? Why'd y'all do that?" I'm like, "Well, we were reading these plays, and we were like, these, these suck. We can do it better." And then we did. Right. Ms. Van, what's your final thoughts on high school? Another day, another test. <sighs> I just have to say, hearing what you have to say about it, all of you, it, it's what makes me love what I do. And I love y'all so much. Aww. I really do. We love you too. Aww. And each other, by yeah. the way. Hopefully, this will be published. Whenever we find out that it is published, yeah. I will make a video screaming about it. Absolutely. Uh, so I'll keep everybody up to date on that. Make sure to call me up. Uh, Actually, in video, just call me up, and then I'll start screaming too. Okay, that's Good. what I'll do. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, what by I'll the do. way, my husband texted. We did not find out today. Okay. No, no letter well, from Big Dog. Well, so. One day, we will know. We exactly will. what's going on, and we will be published playwrights. Uh, I believe Seth got a writing credit in there in the notes. Oh, cool. uh, well, we, we did say the people who had, who mm -hmm. uh, contributed, yeah. but um, we get the royalties. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to say that part. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, the okay. the, the, the Dental Strings Theater uh, department. Uh, oh, the so you can say that and go right ahead. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it's okay, I got another one right up there. <laughs> and remember, uh, a pelican's work is never done. We love you. On three, guys. Caca on three. One, two, three. Caca! Caca!